Hello everybody, we're back here on Way of the Hunter. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into the action. Hopefully you guys have been having a great day and uh, are excited for another stream here on Way of the Hunter. The question is, what are we going to start with today? I'm going to put it up to a poll and we'll see uh, what you guys vote for. There we go. Let me know which map we should start out with, guys, and then we will uh, jump into the action. Figure I'll let you guys decide since we've been starting with, like, uh, a specific reserve each day. Figured I'll leave it up to a vote this time. Uh, it's looking like it's 50-50 so far. Wow. That's, uh, that's pretty crazy. When's the next, uh, trophy launch? Sure, I'm assuming you're talking about, uh, Call of the Wild. It'll be at least a couple weeks, probably. As right now, I'm pretty, uh, flooded with Way of the Hunter content. Wow, how is it perfectly 50-50? That is insane. It's perfectly 50-50. Once we break 100 votes, that'll be the deciding factor, so... I uh, just need to update one more time. It's currently at 99 votes. One vote to go, and then whatever's ahead is what we'll jump into. Oh gosh, it's 50-50 again. Um, It's showing Nez Perce just barely ahead, but it still says 50%, so I'll give it one more update. Transylvania, okay. Transylvania with 52%. Let's jump into it. Hey, DK, how's it going, man? And yeah, I love the, uh, I love the photo mode as well. I love being able to actually watch the animals, uh, just interact with the world. It's really cool. Hey, Siv, how's it going, man? Hey, Smash, hey, Billy. Hey, the deer, Cornies, Ben, Dylan, Johnny, Death Reaper. How's everybody doing? Hey, Jake. Watch out for Dracula? Yeah, we gotta be careful, man. Dracula just shows up out of nowhere. Hopefully we can see some chamois. Yeah, I really want to see some. Have not seen any, uh, chamois yet. Hey, Klingon, how's it going? Thinking of getting a new Xbox? I mean, if you're able to get one for, like, a good, uh, price, then might as well. Since, uh, Way of the Hunter is on the current gen. And so there's our trophies so far. Our Red Deer trophies are crazy level 3 Road Deer. Or 3 star, I mean. Our 4 star Fallow. Let's go ahead and get the uh, loadout going. Not exactly sure what we're going to be using today. Honestly, 308 is probably a good one to have, but I want it in this slot. And then let's bring a smaller caliber for stuff like the Fox and the Roe Deer. I think we'll actually go with the lever action. Because it is uh, perfect for them. Eh, we'll keep the scopes like this. Let's uh, get the correct collars, though. As that would probably be pretty helpful if we had the correct collars. I think the only one left is the hog collar. Yeah, Johnny. Uh, yes, yeah, Smash. It's like 11 gigs. It's very small, to be honest. Like, impressively small file size. Can and thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Uh, what time should we start? You know, let's go see if that roe deer has grown at all. Because there was a, a decent roe deer in the same group that we shot ours out of. And I'm curious if it's grown. There's been a few herds that we've been checking out. Oh yeah, there is a call for fallow as well. I forgot about that. The grunt collar works for them, I believe. And I'd rather have that than the, uh, the boar collar. Yeah, Fallow Mule Deer and Whitetail for the Grunt Call. However, currently I only have access to Tier 1 Calls, which means only Does will come to it. I'll have to unlock the other stages of the Caller. Oh, is it really letting you download already, uh, Mountain Rocker? I mean, the game isn't out for two more days. 
it shouldn't be letting you download it. Unless you manage to get one of the, like, disc copies, because I know occasionally those get put out early onto shelves. Yeah, they're not gonna, they're not gonna put the game on last gen, guys. It is a, uh, current generation exclusive. Ganon, thank you for another super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. Oh, consoles get to preload. Nice, gotcha. That makes sense. Being able to preload is good. And it's awesome how uh, small the file size is as well. Where do you find the moose in the game? So they're in Nez Perce Valley. And they're kind of like at the top of the map from what I've seen. I'm sure there's some other locations they might be, but I've found them like top middle. In kind of like the swampy area. And top right as well in those swamps. Let's get close enough to see what these roe deer are. Want to see if we can maybe find like a, a four star? I'd like to see what those look like. And, and thank you for another super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. I'm not sure, Mr. Boomstick. Probably whenever I get a great one. I'm still grinding for another great one. Um, I actually killed like a couple hundred red deer uh, last night. And this morning. So still working towards uh, Call of the Wild stuff even while I'm playing Way of the Hunter. Uh, but we won't have much Call of the Wild content until uh, full release for Way of the Hunter. Nice, Deer 2022. That's awesome, dude. What's my favorite kill in Way of the Hunter and in Call of the Wild? Um, in Way of the Hunter, my favorite kill's gotta be the five-star whitetail we took out yesterday. Because we got to- we've been watching that thing grow for a couple streams. And it was really cool to finally see it uh, reach its max potential. And then I think my favorite in Call of the Wild has to be either my super rare albino whitetail or melanistic pheasant or possibly the third great one red deer we got because I like that mid rack. Cannon with two more super chats, dude. Insane. As always, really appreciate it, man. Uh oh, they're alerted. I didn't realize the fallow were right there. So we're going to have to be careful. That way we don't spook them off because I don't want them to run past the road here and spook them as well. You like this gun? Uh, holy. We're already starting off great. This is the uh, lack of coffee talking. I just started drinking my coffee, so my brain isn't fully firing on all cylinders. Will this game be cross-platform? Sadly, no. Uh, do you like this game better than Call of the Wild? I think I do. It really fits my... Uh, my wants for a hunting game more than Call of the Wild does, though both of them are amazing. So they just grow on there instead of shooting them? So, like, with uh, the way the game works, any deer that you don't shoot will grow. Provided it hasn't reached its, like, max potential, then if you don't shoot it, it has a chance of dying. So, like, let's say, for example, we find like a one-star young roe deer. This is a two-star mature, so we'll probably kill him. He's already hit mature, and he's only a two-star, so most likely he will be one that we'll want to take down. Um, this guy right here, though, is a one-star young, so we would want to let him grow to see what he's going to be when he gets older. And then if he ends up not being a very high trophy rating once he hits the mature stage, then that's when we decide to take him out. I try to only take out the mature deer. And sometimes the adults that only hit one-star... Because in this, you want to cull out the bad genetics because uh, the genetics of the animals that are on your map will determine what your future spawns will be. If you have a bunch of bad genetics animals on your reserve, you have much higher chances of the offspring being uh, bad genetics as well. So you want to get rid of the bad genetics and keep the good genetics. Just like in real life. That's our two star right there. Ooh, why is that like? Oh, because of the wind. Wow, that's cool. Okay, so I didn't notice this before, guys. Look at that. Do you see how big the circle is on like the, the hit indicator? That's because the wind is uh, much stronger than what we're used to. Much more strong. Uh, Robbie, thank you so much for the super chat. So stoked for this game. Love your content, man. Best hunting YouTuber around. Well, thank you, man. I really appreciate that. I'm glad you enjoy the content. 
It's been so much fun being able to show this off to you guys. I have had an absolute blast playing it. Got a one-star adult in there. There's actually four males. I didn't realize that. And Cannon, thank you for a super chat as well. Once again, man. Super generous of you. One star mature. Where's that guy? We need him dead. But yeah, did you guys see that? Um, let's let's look at it again. So with the 30-30, do you see how big that circle is? That's the hit range. The like solid red circle, that's where the hit will most likely be. I think the lighter red is the possible range it could land. And that's based off of the wind and the distance and whatever your zeroing is set to. That is so cool. Like, we have 12.8. Um, I'm not sure what M slash S would be. That's definitely not miles per hour. But uh, because the wind is way stronger than normal, this shot isn't guaranteed to be super accurate. That's pretty cool. What about with the 308? 308's got a faster flying bullet. Oh, with the 308, it's way better. Oh, that is so cool. It takes so many things into account. Meters a second? Oh yeah, meters per second, most likely. Look at this though. The 3030 is not good at this range with this wind. What happens if we aim at something closer? Little better, but still not great. Yeah, the further you go out, the more of a range it has. That's cool. I mean, to be honest, we don't need to get full score on this guy. He's just a one star mature. So we'll use the 308. I don't think uh, using the 3030 is going to be a good idea. Okay, it's that one right there. Uh, Cannon, thank you for another super chat, dude. I'm here. I see that. How you doing, man? Hopefully you've been doing good. There we go. There was a fallow over here. I don't know where they went, though. Unfortunate. Not sure where these fallow went. Yeah, Crackbone, this game definitely does nail it with the render distance. Being able to take 800 meter shots is crazy. I love it. It was so satisfying to make that 700 meter shot that we hit the other day. I'm sure you guys have probably seen it by now between like the stream and the YouTube short that I put up, but my gosh, that was the most satisfying shot I've ever taken. So cool. We got red deer over there. Okay, that's probably the herd that we took the four star out of. That's actually a good idea, Mr. Boomstick. Because uh, though this game is more fun to play for me, I am curious uh, which one is more enjoyable to watch as a as like a streaming game. Because they are definitely very different styles of hunting games. Find this guy. Where is he? Oh, we hit him so heavily. Absolutely rocked that poor thing. Cannon, thank you for another super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Always so generous with the donations. There it is. That's a mature one star right there. It's a good looking roe deer. Whoa, 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 whoa. Really wonky. Look at that. <laughs> so yeah, that's a good example of a bad genetics deer. He's super old. It's a mature uh, roe deer with bad genetics. One star trophy rating. He maybe could have grown to a two star, but not likely. But yeah, that guy's very uneven. Like kind of kind of twisty and wonky. I like the road deer in this game. They're cool. I definitely like the road deer. So I think what we're going to do now, now that we've checked that spot is Maybe we could run this river a little bit. I've drove around the river, but I haven't actually like hunted around it. So let's cross over um, if we can find a place to do that. I think we can go over here and do it. Yeah, Lunar, it is kind of strange. Oh yeah, I'm going to put up a poll real quick. Because uh, I actually like that idea. Of seeing uh, what game you guys like watching more.
There we go. Way of the Hunter will win, you think? Maybe. I mean, I put Way of the Hunter, Call of the Wild, or both equally. Cannon, thank you for another super chat, dude. Much appreciated, man. Member badge is almost blue. Awesome, man. Getting there. Getting close to that second, uh, second tier badge. I got a feeling this is going to be pretty, uh, mixed when it comes to, like, what you guys prefer watching. Definitely looking like it's pretty mixed. Oh yeah, I can agree with that, Smash. I think Way of the Hunter is definitely better for videos. Uh, since it does kind of take some time to find stuff sometimes. I feel like you can definitely make some more immersive videos out of it for sure. Got this game on PC instead of X Xbox. Did I make the right choice? Probably, uh, Mouthy. Probably. I would say so. It definitely seems like it runs pretty well on PC. And I mean, with keyboard and mouse, there's always more, uh, more precision. So, I I'd always say that PC is probably usually the better option. It's been working pretty good for me. I mean, right now I'm getting around 80 FPS while streaming, which isn't too bad. Uh, yeah, Donald, we got a few five stars. We got a five star whitetail and pheasant yesterday, and the day before we got a five star elk. And we got to watch both the whitetail and the elk grow from a four to a five star. It was pretty cool. Uh, let's just sprint across. We're going to sprint all the way over to the other river and kind of see what we can find there. All right, let me uh, check the poll real quick. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's that's unexpected. 56% of you so far say Way of the Hunter is more fun to watch. 32% say that both are equally fun to watch. And 12% say Call of the Wild's more fun to watch. That actually shocks me. I thought Call of the Wild would have more. Maybe, Ben. Uh, definitely the RAM will be enough. Um, the 1650 Super might be... It might be fine. Because I know a 1660 Super is better than a 1070. So a 1650 is probably about in line with the 1070. Maybe a little better. And my 1070 was still getting 60 FPS. As long as I wasn't recording while I was uh, playing it. I'm going to put a mark down real quick. This is also a spot where I saw a pretty large uh, red deer. In one of the herds that I had seen. Uh, no, Duster, there is no tents. However, you can find campsites, which is what this is over here. You can find campsites to fast travel to. They're placed in various places across the map. Yeah, Broken, we got a shotgun. We did some hunting with it during yesterday's stream. We hunted a bunch of uh, ducks and uh, lesser scop, some pheasants as well. Yeah, that'd be cool, Scott. That'd be cool. And honestly, I think if enough people want it, they'll probably do it. They've paid so much attention to detail in this game. Especially with the animations. I mean, the pigs actually do run with their tails up. That caught me off guard. Like, I didn't expect them to go, like, that in-depth with the detail. When I saw a bunch of wild boar running away and all of them had their tails sticking straight up, that was, like, insane. Oh, definitely. 32 gigs of RAM is... It's plenty. I'd say nowadays 16 gigabytes is about the minimum you would want, and 32 gig is like enough to run any game, right? And probably still have other things running in the background as well. You, In most cases, you can get away with using 16 gigs. So yeah, 32 will be great. How do you get access? It's for content creators and reviewers, uh, $2. Are there bears? Yes, there is. On the other reserve, there is black bear. Um, shortly after release, Brown Bear will be in, uh, this reserve as well. Yes, yeah, same, Osgard. They did pretty good with nailing the animations. Would 12 gigs work? Maybe. Uh, Way of the Hunter is 11 gigs, Costo. It's a very small uh, file size for this uh, insanely game. In insanely game? That's not a sentence. 
What was I saying? Oh yeah, 11 gigs. It's a uh, kind of a crazy small file size for a game this expansive and massive. I mean, these maps are huge. The fact that they're able to pack this all into 11 gigs blows my mind. And honestly, I think that just speaks to like a well-optimized game. Obviously, it's pretty uh it does require a pretty beefy PC to run at higher of the highest settings, but that's partially just due to how games are advancing. But it's honestly pretty well optimized with file size. Oh, definitely does. I couldn't believe the amount of space that uh, Warzone took. Like uh, Modern Warfare and Warzone, they took up an absurd amount of space. It always blew my mind how much it took. Yeah, true, Curtis, true. I imagine in a few years this game will probably be around 30. After they've added some new maps and guns. Snakehead, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. What's some of the stuff you would like to see added to the game? Um, I would definitely like to see them add an FOV slider, first of all. Which I believe they are going to do that with the day one patch. Uh, but as far as features, I'd like to see non-typicals. I would like to see... Um... Well, bows for sure. And then I'd like to see more uh, variety in calibers, but that'll definitely come with time. I'd like to see a Texas reserve. I'd like to see, obviously, an Africa reserve, an Australia reserve. And then uh, some type of map with Roosevelt elk and blacktail deer, like kind of maybe, maybe like a BC map. I think that could be kind of cool because they already have like an Idaho map. So I don't think they would do an Oregon Washington map, but they could definitely do a BC map. I think British Columbia would be a cool location for them to do. Cannon, thank you for the super chat and Jolly Roger. Thank you for becoming a member. Really appreciate it. Enjoy the green name and chat special badge on all the awesome emotes ability to use commands, access to private discord channels once you in discord, YouTube and access to my scrap content on the channel. Really appreciate it. Hope you've been doing fantastic and enjoying the stream. Hey, Cooper, how's it going, man? I'm glad that you enjoy the videos. Himalayan Reserve could be cool. Oh, I'd also like to see a New Zealand Reserve. I want to see stuff like uh, tar and... I I'd like to see if they could maybe do, like, reserve-specific racks for Red Deer. Like, uh, make the New Zealand racks different than the racks here. I think that'd be so cool. They should add frogs? That could be interesting. Bullfrog hunting. Got red deer and boar over there. That was weird. Like, we got the cue for the wild boar, but I heard the red deer instead. Yeah, this is definitely a group of smaller males. Oh, that's a two star adult. He could get huge. And that's a three star mature. One star mature. We probably want to take down the one star mature and maybe the three star as well, but that two star adult up there. Oh, that could become a giant. That could become a giant with time. Maybe even a five star eventually. Ah, uh, Mutt Dog, thank you for becoming a member as well. I really appreciate that. Hope you've been doing great. Enjoy the green name and chat, special badge icon, all the awesome emotes, ability to use commands, access to private Discord channels once you link Discord to YouTube, and access to my scrap content on the channel. Really appreciate it, and welcome to the channel. Fallow Deer? There's Fallow Deer here, too. Alright, guys, what do you think? Shoot the red deer from here or stock up closer and try to get some close-up looks at them with the photo mode so that you guys can see them a little bit closer in their natural habitat. What do you think? Shoot it now or try to get closer in photo mode? I will leave it up to you guys. Ooh, it is very split. Wow, that is super 50-50. I mean, we're going to have to do a poll, I think. Uh, there's no way I can determine it just from chat. Depends on the wind. The wind's pretty good.
All right, there's the poll. That'll be uh, that'll be the way to decide this. Let's see what uh, ends up winning the vote there. There's a one-star mature stag. We'll just slowly inch this direction. I need that two-star to pop out again if we're going to shoot it, though. Or the three-star, I mean. We need that three-star mature to pop out. Though it might be nice to get the one-star out of the gene pool. Alright, well, it looks like you guys want me to shoot it now. Um, let's actually see if maybe we can take a look at it anyway. I don't think we're close enough to see it up close, though. Oh, yeah, we need to get way closer. No way we can see good from here. Even if I zoom in all the way, we can't really see them that well. Unfortunate. I kind of wanted to take a close look, but you guys want me to shoot it now, so... And also, should we take out the one star to get rid of the bad genes, or should we take down the three star because it's bigger? Ah, uh, no, Colton. Just the one that we got yesterday. Like, what route do we take? Do we take the, uh... Managing our herd route? Oh, there's a four star. Oh my gosh, there's a four star. Where did he come from? Oh, he's looking old. There's no way he grows anymore. I guess we're taking that one out. That guy's gonna die soon. Oh, we're taking the four star, it looks like, guys. Guys, I don't think he could grow to a five. That one's looking kind of old. This guy doesn't look like he'll survive any long. Oh. Whoa, man. Calm down. That was un that was unnecessary. And I want to compare him to our other four star as well. That's cool. That's really cool. Um, the other one's in front of him. That should be our three star too. Yeah, that's the three. See, that, that three is younger. You can tell by the fur. That four star right there is super old and uh, very rugged looking that thing has been through some stuff man that red deer has definitely been through some things oh he's getting up where did he run off to we hit him good. There he is. There he is. That's a pretty good looking stag right there. That might be my biggest four star. I think it's bigger than the other one I killed. That one definitely would not have uh, lived for too much longer. Yeah, he's going down. Nice. Um, I don't have motion blur on Bluebird. This is the Hunter Sense. Hunter Sense allows you to see the tracks. It allows you to see spotting information. Uh, but it blurs the sides of the screen whenever you use it. It's not motion blur. One star adult boar. Uh, where are the red deer? Maybe we can get a long range shot on one of them. Oh, there they are. Oh, guys, we could totally hit one of these from here. Yeah, we're going to try and get that one star mature out of the herd as well. Let's get him out of there. I believe it's him. I think. Yeah, that's definitely him. He's smaller than the other two. That's definitely the one star mature. Let's try the 500 meter shot with a 308. I think we can do that. He's going down. That's actually pretty crazy that that shot actually connected well. I wasn't sure how that was going to go. Oh, what the? 
Oh, he glitched back for a second. Or did he? I don't know. That him? Yeah, I think he just dropped down right there. Well, we got two stags down, two mature stags, a four star and a one star. What the? That pig doesn't even care. <laughs> nice. Watch it be the two star adult. I don't think it is the, uh, the mid-sized one should be the two star. That one right there definitely had a one star rack. All right, now those boars are leaving. They're like, whoa, man, stop chasing us. The pigs don't care until you start running at them. Closest big game kill. I think the closest I ever got was to a black bear. It walked right up on top of us as we took the shot. And so I killed it from like 30 or 40 meters. That's the closest I've been able to get. Anytime that I'm stalking up on them, the closest I've got was like 70 meters. They spook very easy if you're moving. The only time I've had one get closer with that bear was when uh, it was walking towards us. Wow, that is huge. Yeah, it's definitely a very old stag though. I don't think it would have grown any bigger. Get a quick picture. Oh wow, that looks good. I like that picture. I like that angle right there. That looks good. Like that's thumbnail material right there for sure. Because we'll definitely put this in a video at some point because this is our best stag by far. That other four star, I think, was a little bit smaller. I guess we'll see. Wow, look at that thing. That's a cool red deer. 93% genetics. I don't think it would have hit five star then. I think we made the right decision. Yeah, it was probably at its max potential, to be honest. I don't know, we're still gonna have to figure out what percentages you need to hit five star. It's gonna be tough to know early on, but I think eventually we'll probably be able to nail down what percentages we need to hit five star rating. That's cool, we're gonna tax that guy. It almost made five stars even. It was very close, like 16 points off. That was pretty cool. Let's go claim the other one though. What's the difference between the Elite and Normal Edition? Uh, the Elite comes with the Season Pass and also some extra skins for one of the shotguns and the Jeep. But the Season Pass is 100% worth it in my book because you get two uh, DLC maps within the next 12 months. So basically, if you buy the Elite Edition, uh, you won't have to pay separately for the next two DLC reserves. And DLC maps are supposed to come with new weapons and gear as well, so I think it's worth the extra 10 bucks. If you ask me, I think it definitely is. Where did this guy go to? Oh, definitely Joshua. It's definitely uh, it's definitely a good bundle. 100% worth it to get the elite. Especially since it's like $5 off at the moment. We definitely saw that guy bed down over here, I think. He 100% was going to die because he started slowing down quite a bit. And they don't slow down if they're not going to die. Should be like right over here. This is the area that we saw it kind of lay down. I think at least. We might have to go back and check a couple other spots. Oh, is that him? Might be a rock. Yeah, it's a rock.
Wild boar tracks. I'm actually not sure, Northern. Not 100% sure if there's a, an ability to upgrade. I would imagine maybe you could upgrade. How much do the DLCs cost? They haven't announced what the individual pricing would. I can imagine that the Elite Edition's like extra $10 will be worth two reserves with a bunch of weapons and gear. Because if you do it that way, that's $5 per reserve. And I imagine when they release them separately, they'll probably be like $10 each. Like $7 or $10, similar to a Call of the Wild map. So I think the Elite Edition will be worth it. To find where the tracks are. Be nice to find some blood. This is roughly where we shot it. Although it might have been up here where we took the shot. I really should have just marked where we took the shot and not where I thought I saw it went. Oh, there it is. It's right there. <laughs> so he's right there. Refresh your refresh it guys Refresh the stream Refresh the stream, guys. If it's lagging, refresh the stream. That'll fix it. It's a it's an issue with YouTube recently. YouTube's been having some trouble recently, and uh, refreshing will fix it. Yeah, the bullets are free. You don't have to pay for them. You just have to go to your uh, storage, and it will replenish your ammo. Uh, but you're only allowed to keep a specific amount on you at a time. Like right now, I've got, I believe it's 25 plus whatever's in your gun. I know, right, Ben? Alright, Bandit. Yeah, I'll be streaming for a few hours, so... You should be able to make it back. Yeah, maybe, Clutch Up. He could have been able to make a 5-star, but... I imagine it would have been a small 5-star, probably. Oh, yeah, this is the right one. This is the Mature. You can tell by how gray its neck is and its head. This was definitely our, uh... Oh no, it was the two-star adult! It's okay though, it had 84% genetics. You guys were right! You guys called it, you said this might have been the two-star adult. I could have... Wow, how is the one-star bigger than him? That one-star is gonna be a giant, I think. That one-star was bigger than him, then. Because this was the smallest of those three. That's crazy. So this adult actually wasn't as good as we thought. It was only 84% genetics. I mean, yeah, it's pretty low score. Yeah, I don't think this thing would have been as big as we thought. I don't think this guy would have gotten nearly as big as we expected. Gosh, that means that one star must be big. Because we were targeting the one star mature. And there was also a one star young. And this was a two star adult. But I'm pretty sure that that one star young was bigger, right? I could be wrong, but... Now, regardless. That guy's genetics weren't as good as we thought, so it's okay. Not too big of a deal that he died. Uh, let's head up in this direction. I definitely have seen more red deer in this way. What's the difference between this difficulty and the next one? Uh, just how easily animals spook. If I were to raise the difficulty one up, it would be harder to get close to them. And if you go to the max difficulty, it takes away the hunter's sense completely and makes the animals even more skittish than what they are on the other difficulties.
I'll probably do a tips video, Robert. I'll probably do a tips video. It won't be like a super in-depth guide because, uh, to be honest, I think I'll have to play hundreds of hours of this game to get a full guide going. Because there's a lot to learn. Uh, the maps are huge. There's lots to do. Lots to learn about the genetic system still. So I think I'll release a basic guide talking about like what animals to prioritize, prioritize shooting and also like what gear is best to get first, how to unlock the store and stuff because I didn't even realize how to unlock the store at first. And the people that don't want to do missions, they probably won't even realize that you have to do the first three or four missions in order to get the store unlocked. So I'll definitely have to make some kind of a guide to help out with that. It'll definitely just be a basic guide though. I haven't learned enough about the game to do a full guide. I actually did, Curtis. I, I marked it on that last one, but I guess I marked uh, wrong. I had marked where I thought it went down, but I guess it put the mark behind where I was aiming. What is the difference in this and the Explorer difficulty? Explorer is the easiest, so you can get closer to animals. They don't spook as easily. That's the only difference, though. Uh, really, the only difference between difficulties is how easy it is to spook animals. Like, it doesn't affect the genetics or the potential for big animals. It just changes how easily they spook, and then obviously the last difficulty takes away Hunter's sense to make it uh, more hardcore. Oh, definitely Stillwaters. I'll stream it. We will be playing the Angler for sure when it comes out. Uh, genetics is the genes of the animal. The boar are here. Hey, buddy. One star mature. Don't mind if I do. Better zero for closer range, though. That guy don't know what hit him. Oh, now, what are you guys doing? That's not going to help you with getting away. That's a one star adult. I bet you we could take a long shot. That's our. Oh, did we not hit it as well as I thought? What? Okay, well that's unfortunate. I thought we got a good shot. Might have been slightly high, I guess. Yeah, range. Unfortunately, it's not on last gen. Oh, definitely, Robert. I can see uh, Explorer being great for uh, getting close enough to actually use the photo mode to take some nice video footage and pictures. That's definitely uh, the mode for that. No, it's a vital hit. I guess 308 just doesn't take him down quickly. Uh, not sure, Extra. I don't think there is at launch, but they said it's possible in the future if that's what the community wants. I'm sure someday there will be. Do you think they should add blinds and tree stands? I think it would be pretty fitting for the game, so yeah. I'd say that would probably be a good addition. What GPU am I playing on? I am playing on a 3060 Ti. I had a 1070 when I was first uh, doing my like first four or five videos for the game and it just was not doing super great while recording so I upgraded to the 3060 Ti and now it's super smooth. Hey Omega, how's it going? Ores are really tough, they definitely are. And I mean that's realistic. Ores aren't, uh, they're not pushovers, that's for sure. In real life and in the game. Hey, buddy. Ooh. Look at that. 
Also, guys, I just want you to pay attention to how crazy this is. Look at the detail. You hit the scapula and immediately we get more expansion and it starts causing cavity damage. Like literally the second you hit that scapula, you can see it just completely spread out the damage into the artery and the bone. That is just such an amazing detail. Because that, that is how it would be. Like, if you hit bone, like, it's going to start shredding that bullet. That's really cool. Super detailed. That is so detailed. Now, let's take a look. Oh, 37% genetics. Yep, that was a good one. That was a good one to take down. How much will the game cost? It's going to be $39.99 or $49.99 if you want the Elite Edition, which comes with the Season Pass. Uh, season Pass will get you the first two maps that they release as uh, DLC maps. And those will come with uh, new equipment and new rifles as well. Let's keep heading up the river. We saw some fallow deer spook off, so... If we could catch up to those fallow, that'd be cool. I would like to see some more of the mid-sized fallow. Uh, pretty much any of the coastlines, Boomstick. I uh, know, Zachary, it's not coming to PlayStation 4. Uh, to be honest, I don't think that a PlayStation 4 would run the, vi the game very well. Unfortunately, I think it would run pretty poorly. It's a very uh, demanding game as it is very large maps with relatively good graphics. I don't think a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One would do very well. Still would love a trail cam aspect. Yeah, me too. That'd be cool. Have I tried shooting boar in real life? Uh, no, I have not. Uh, there's not really any boar here in Oregon. We don't really have anything like that here. Yeah, Aaron, they got fallow deer. And they're pretty cool. We killed a four-star fallow the other day. It looks really good. Yeah, Angel, it does look great. I love this game so much. I really love it. It's been so much fun being able to play it. Like, easily my new favorite game. Hey, Trini, how's it going? I'm glad you enjoy the content. And yeah, I try my best to explain the stuff that I'm doing and showing. Hey, Cajun, how's it going? Hey, Blitz. Hey, Kane. It's not for all consoles, uh, Kane. If you look on, like, Xbox, their store is, like, universal, so no matter what Xbox system you're on, you'll see the same things. No, the Xbox One X cannot run it. The Series X and S is the only ones that can play the game. But because of how Microsoft Store works, you can purchase it on any Xbox console. But you can't actually play it unless it's Series S and X. It'll tell you that it's incompatible if you try to play it on an Xbox One. Hey, Zyphon, we took down a four-star Red Deer. And then we accidentally shot a two-star Adult Red Deer as well. Thinking that it was a one-star mature. And then we just took down a one-star mature boar. What else did we get? I'm pretty sure we ended up getting... What was it? We got a roe deer. I think it was a one-star mature as well. Hey, monkey. How's it going, dude? And no, Flair, there's no cross-platform, but there is multiplayer. There is multiplayer in the game. I haven't really been able to test it out, though. Uh, no, Joshua, it's not on the Xbox One X. It's on the Xbox Series X or Series S, which is the current generation of consoles. 
What are the species on this map? Uh, let's see. We've got roe deer, fallow deer, red deer. Let's see, roe deer, fallow deer, red deer, chamois, mouflon, red fox, wild boar. I believe gray leg geese. Maybe pheasant. I can't remember if there's pheasants. Eventually, there will be brown bear as well. No, it's cross, not crossplay. There is no cross platform. Yeah, it really is. It, it is like an improved, better version of classic. Honestly, I like to think of it as like, ooh, three star mature. Kind of the way that I've been viewing it is like, this is really like what classic could have been if it was designed on modern graphics engines. Hey, Odin, it looks amazing, dude. It really does. It, it's so good. It's been a lot of fun to play. It's a two-star mature, and then we got this three-star mature right here. That three-star mature still looks like it's got some growing to do, though. We might take down the two-star mature. That one seems like it'll be the one to cull out of these herds. Uh, Kane, thank you for the super chat, dude. Looks like I have to buy a PS5. Yeah, it's looking like it, man. I mean, if you can afford it, though, I'd recommend a PC. That way you have more future-proofing and more versatility because uh, if you like controller you can still play with a controller on PC but you also get the multi-purpose ability of having you know a PC but if you can afford one I'd probably recommend that Let's see can we get a good shot into this guy <laughs> definitely can There's definitely a little bit of smoothing they'll have to do with some of the animations. Like, that's one thing I've noticed is they could smooth out some of the animations and, like, the transitions of animations. That tree is wrecking my uh, ability to look at anything. <laughs> I kept, like, swerving to the left, and that tree was making my gun go down. Yeah, they do look very real. I have been so impressed with uh, the animations. The animations are my favorite part, like... Oh! Whoa, dude. One star mature row deer. Oh yeah, 30 30 is not gonna do good at that range. Even close, it doesn't do super great, so... It's mainly because of the wind, though, I think. I think the wind has a big effect on accuracy for the 30-30. I hope so, Joshua. I hope we get something like that. I, I don't even compare them too much, Crickets. I feel like they're uh, different enough that... Call of the Wild isn't going to be competing with this game, really. Uh, the people that want realism will play Way of the Hunter. The people that want a more, like, user-friendly, faster-paced game will probably play Call of the Wild. And if you're someone like me that likes all hunting games, I'll play both of them. Yeah, that row was just booking it out of here. That was wild. I, I didn't even realize that row deer was there until it darted off. There's got to be a red deer drinking zone here. There has to be. Yeah, there we go. It's an often drinking zone as well. That's awesome. So, we'll have good chances of finding ourselves some red deer at this location. That's going to be pretty easy to check up on this guy, too. We'll have to hunt around a little more, come back here, and see if that three-star ends up being a four-star. Or even a five. Pretty much, Blitz. Like, I, that's why I didn't even attempt it. I, I had no faith in trying to make a running shot with a 30-30. That roe deer was just not giving me the, the time of day. Cannon, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. You think it'd be cool if the angler and the hunter could do multi-mounts like a grizzly bear eating it? Oh, that'd be cool. Ah, if that would only work, though, if they were uh, the same game, right? Since they're separate, I don't think that would be possible. There he is, though. That's a two-star mature. Like, even the two-star stags, they look bigger once you get up on them like this. 
Snakehead, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Is there bullet drop and is it different depending on what gun you use? Uh, yes and yes. I will show you this real quick. So right here, if we go into Hunter Sense, it'll show where it's going to impact. So we're 0 to 200 meters. And at 200 meters, there will be just a tiny bit of bullet drop. You can see the dot that's below it. If I zero clear up to like one kilometer, you'll see it's going to hit super high. And then if I lower the zeroing, it shows where it's going to hit as well. Uh, this tree is roughly 100 away, so that's what would be dead on. However, we go to the 3030. And you'll notice that uh, it's a little bit different, see? The wind is affecting the bullet a lot more. And if we go out further, I mean, we got a zero to like 300 just to hit on the center. And there's no way you're going to hit a shot accurately from that range with the with a 30-30. Yeah, it is quite different from gun to gun. There's that red deer though. Uh, but as I was saying, the red deer are actually bigger than what they kind of look. When you actually look at them close up, they do look bigger than how they look from afar. Like, this guy's a two-star, and he still looks pretty impressive. He's a little uneven, too. That's a slightly uneven stag. 700 uh, coins, though. Uh, James, thank you so much for the 15 months, dude. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, man. Yeah, he did, Siv. That roe deer just did not want anything to do with me whatsoever. He saw what happened to that red deer. He didn't want that to become him. Let's see if we have anything over here. Oh, yeah, we do. Mouflon. Awesome. We got Mouflon here. You guys wanted to see more Mouflon yesterday, and we couldn't find any more after that one group, so this is perfect. Or not yesterday, but two days ago during the eight-hour stream. Saw a lot of people wanting to see more Mouflon. How fast do the animals grow? I haven't been able to discover that yet. It seems like it takes uh, at least a few hours of playing in order for them to progress and I've noticed the only time they actually grow is when you reset the time whenever you fast forward the time to the next day that's when the growing process happens but I think the amount they grow is based off of how much time you've been hunting like how much time you've spent playing but I don't know that's just kind of my observations as of now Stray Cast, thank you for the super chat welcome back man welcome back Yeah, mature is the biggest, and the age is different depending on the species, so... Like, let's take a look here. For a mouflon, a mature one would be ages 8 to 10. Uh, for fallow deer, mature would be 10 to 16. For mule deer, it would be 7 to 12. Whitetail, it would be 6 to 8, so it's different per species. And whenever you see a mature, like, this is the range of age it could be. So you never know if it's a if it's on the lower end of mature or if it's on the high end. Which is why you gotta get good at, like, analyzing the fur and the antlers on the uh, animal to determine whether or not it still has some time to grow. Super uh, detailed and impressive. Now let's see if we can find a good Mouflon to take. I saw a two-star mature. Is growing the herds a tough process? It's definitely not a quick process. Um, I've played about 75 hours now between both reserves. And I've only been able to really focus on like a couple animals, like trying to get them to grow better. I got my white tail to where they're producing some decent deer. We've only got one five-star though, even. Like out of all that time, still only one five-star. It takes a long time to, like, cultivate your herds to produce better trophies. I think that's the two-star. One-star adult. Now let's take it down. It's a one-star, so I doubt it'll be a giant when it grows up. When it gets a little older, I doubt it'll be huge. Oh, it moved. 
Okay, we're still good, though. Okay, watch this, guys. So, you know how you don't have to release the mouse button immediately? And it will eventually... Like, it'll make it so you don't actually rack the bolt to get another shell chambered. I can even exit scope mode and then let go of left mouse now, and that's when you chamber another round. It's so cool. So detailed that you can do that. And honestly, I prefer to do it that way because then you can actually see the animation better. Such a really awesome detail that they put in the game. Yeah, they still got quite a bit to go then, uh, Blitz. I'm happy they pushed it back, though. I don't want them to release an unfinished game. Glad they're pushing it back over, like, releasing it before it's finished, you know? Oh, no, nobody's saying it's not going to be good, Blitz. What we're saying is that the hype is dying down because they took too long to release it. They announced it way too early. Nobody is saying it's going to be a bad game. We're just saying that they announced it way too early for it to be able to sustain hype for over two years. You know, like announcing a game two years before it's finished. People are going to lose interest after a while. That was the mistake Ultimate Hunting made. It'll be a good game. I got faith it'll be a good game. But they, they made a mistake by announcing it so early. That's what I've been talking about. Like, the game will be good. I definitely think it'll be good, but it's just a matter of will there still be hype behind it? Because now Way of the Hunter's out, and by the time it gets released, Way of the Hunter will have more maps released, and that's going to take away from some of the sales they'll get for sure. Where'd this Mouflon go? Is it in the grass? Yeah, there it is. Wow, that's cool. Look at that. So we can kind of see the rings on the horns very well right here. Yeah, like I've seen many games over the years that uh, oversold early on. And then by the time they were released, it didn't have everything they talked about or it got delayed a bunch. If you guys have ever heard of a game called Survive the Nights... That is a prime example of a game that oversold what was actually going to be there on release. The game looked so good from everything they showed and talked about. And then by the time it released, it didn't have even 10% of what they talked about and promised. And it took them like five years to get all of it added. That's, uh, that's the big issue with announcing a game too early. Is stuff like that can happen. You never know if you're actually going to be able to deliver on your promises in time. Oh yeah, I appreciate all the stuff they post, Blitz, but I think the big thing for me is like I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to get my hopes up over something that hasn't actually shown real gameplay footage and still doesn't have a release date. I'm going to save my hype for whenever the game actually releases. I hope in the future they, if they release any other hunting or fishing games in the future, I hope they kind of, kind of wait to announce it until it's almost done. That's what Way of the Hunter did, and now it's uh, one of the biggest, like, most popular hunting games out. Like, it's got so much hype behind it because of the way they marketed it. They made a, a lot of good decisions with the marketing. And then delivered with a very solid product as well. And that's the way to do it. Yeah, No Man's Sky is also a great example. That's true. I remember that game was pretty rough on release, and now it's actually a great game. I actually really enjoy No Man's Sky nowadays. Yeah, you can walk through water. None of the water is super, super deep, so most places you can cross. Hey, CGO, how's it going, man? How have you been enjoying the game? I hope you've been having a fun time with it.
Don't want to get cyberpunked? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, me too, Johnny. I think that's the boat that a lot of people are in. Just wanting to see more. And like I was saying, that's the problem with releasing so... With uh, announcing a game so early is like, people want to see gameplay. And if you have nothing to show, then people lose interest. Oh, nice, Metal Angler. It's a fun game. Uh, Jellybean, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it, man. Yeah, I hope so, Blitz. I hope they release some gameplay, like... That's all I'm waiting for with them. I, I just want to see gameplay. I want to know how the game's actually going to play. Because, like, seeing the images of assets for the game is good. But it doesn't tell me how the how the shooting's gonna feel, how the pacing of the game is gonna be. Images and like 10 second clips of things is cool, but it's not it's not real gameplay. It doesn't give me an idea of how the game's gonna play. Oh, we spooked some fallow. Oh, we might be able to catch them from far away. Uh, yeah, you can set more than one marker. You can do one of these quick markers, and then if you hold down X, it will do a blue marker, and those you can put as many as you want. So you hold down X to do that on PC, and then you tap X to do that quick marker. And then if you hold over top of it, it takes it away. Provided I actually aim right in the middle. There we go. It's a very cool system. The waypoint system is very well done. I know, Jay, we're talking about Ultimate Hunting is delayed. Way of the Hunter is still coming out the 16th, but uh, Ultimate Hunting got delayed by like an entire year. I believe so, Bluebird. I do think they have it discounted. At least the Elite Edition is discounted at the moment. So uh, once the game releases, the Elite Edition will go up by $5. I think the base game will be the same, though. No, it's fine, Jelly Bean. I don't mind. It is what it is. How long will it take to grow a big white tail? I actually don't know yet. I have no clue the exact time. All I know is I took probably four hours, like three or four hours of hunting and then returned to a herd. And there was a four star there where there was previously a three star. We hunted around for a couple more hours. Well, maybe like an hour. And then uh, we reset the time and it was a five star. I'd say it takes a minimum of at least like five or six hours for them to progress from like adult to mature. And then we don't know if like game time has something to do with it as well. Like it's so hard to tell as of now. We're so early into the game's existence that I'm still having trouble pinpointing, like, the timings for stuff. But I'm sure, like, within the next month or two, we'll probably learn more about that. I'm sure somebody will, uh, crack the code. Imagine, Blitz. <laughs> uh, they seem pretty on top of things, though, so it should go well. Uh, people on, some creators on console already have it as well, so, it's already past all that, like, uh, it's already delivered to stores, even, like, the hard copies. The game's been ready to go for, uh, for quite a while. It's just a matter of them putting out the day one patch now. I think what's gonna happen is, like, you'll be able to start playing the game on... The 16th, and then they will put out an update on the 16th as well to patch out some of the bugs that were found during early access. Which is really cool. I'm glad they're doing it that way. Oh, definitely, Dusty. Definitely. It's nice to be able to have those uh, marks at, at the touch of a button. I love the uh, marker system. I feel like in a hunting game, being able to place more than one waypoint is huge. Uh, 
how big is this map? Layton is huge. I mean, is this 10x Layton? So this is a roughly two times the size of a Call of the Wild map. Call of the Wild maps are all 64 square kilometers. This map is 144 square kilometers. Uh, yes, sire. Whenever, um, whenever they add DLC reserves, there will be new weapons with them as well. Along with new equipment like collars for the species that are on those maps. Definitely, Jasper. I love them. You know, I've always thought the Call of the Wilds maps are beautiful. But these maps, they just feel... I don't know. They just feel different. Like, they immerse you more. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that the developers... Some of them worked on DayZ. Like, some of the developers at Nine Rocks Games, they had worked on DayZ before. Which is another big open world game. And they had also worked on the Cabela's Hunting Games. And so, like, that combination is probably the reason that we got such an amazing world. As well as a super detailed hunting simulation. Canon, thank you for another super chat. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Is this game laggier than Call of the Wild? It definitely doesn't have as high of frames, but that's partially because of the size of the map. Like, the maps are huge. I don't expect it to perform as well as Call of the Wild with a map twice the size. I still am getting 86 FPS right now, though, on high settings. I'm playing on, like, high to very high. The only thing I've turned down is shadows, because shadows are always a big, uh... A big performance hog. But uh, I've got textures on the max. I've got effects medium, foliage high, uh, very high, view distance very high, post processing medium. And it's still getting 86 FPS while streaming. In fact, now I'm getting 95. Uh, Gladiator, thank you so much for the super chat. Dude, really appreciate it. Is the Hunter Classic on Xbox Series X and S? Uh, the Hunter Classic is PC exclusive. However, Way of the Hunter is going to be on Xbox Series S and X. Hey, Subaru. It's been going great. We got a four-star red deer. Along with a couple others, we shot a two-star mature red deer as well. And then we accidentally killed a two-star adult that we were trying to leave alive. I accidentally, like, shot the wrong one. 86 is way more than you get on Call of the Wild. Oh, really, Blitz? I guess it depends on your system. Because, like, on max settings for Call of the Wild, uh, with the shadows turned off or turned down, I get 150 frames for Call of the Wild with the 3060 Ti. Um, Way of the Hunter, I'm getting, you know, anywhere from, like, 60 to 95, depending on the reserve. Or depending on the part of the map. And that's while streaming. If I'm not streaming, it's like 75 to 100. But yeah, Call of the Wild, I definitely get like almost twice as much FPS. Yeah, I know, Jay. No, my GPU isn't a 3090. It's a 3060 Ti. My CPU is definitely lower end than my GPU, though. So eventually I will have to upgrade that. Um, I've got a i7-6700K processor. And the only reason I haven't upgraded the processor yet is because I'll have to upgrade my motherboard as well. Because my current motherboard is a MSI Z170A, which is... Uh, it's not compatible with some of the newer processors, like the... I want to get, like, one of the 1200, uh... Or, like, the 12,000 series i7s. Either that or one of the i9s. I haven't decided yet, but they're not compatible with this motherboard, so I'd have to upgrade the motherboard as well, and... Obviously, that's an annoying process, removing the motherboard and installing a new one. So, I'm tempted to just get, like, a partially built pre-built. Like, maybe a pre-built that just doesn't come with the GPU. Been debating doing that since I'm gonna have to upgrade eventually. This, this uh, CPU is, like, five years old. I've been using this i7 for, like, five years, so it's bound to give away within the next year or two. Are you planning on playing the angler when it comes out? Oh, definitely, man. Definitely. Oh, gotcha, Blitz. Gotcha. What five-star animal am I most looking forward to? I'd say the red deer, definitely. 
My wife got a five-star red deer that was almost max score, and it was absolutely insane to see. So I'd love to get a five-star red deer. As of now, we've got five-star whitetail, elk, and pheasant, and none of them were super big. Like, both of them were mid to low on the five-star rating. And so, like, we haven't got any insane, insane five-stars yet. I can't wait to see a giant red deer five-star. Ooh, we're definitely past their drink time as well, so they're definitely not going to be out here anymore. We might want to just run up to this question mark, see what it is, and then fast travel to one of the outposts. Oh, definitely, uh, Gamer Ghost. That's, that's great. A 2070 should do fine. My 1070 was able to get 50 to 60 FPS, so a 2070 will do fine. Especially if you've got an i9 in there as well. Oh yeah, moose are great cash. I'm going to include that in my guide as well. Because uh, it's definitely worth it to get the 300 early and then go moose hunting. Let's try to get over to this little question mark. I know they're pretty good, Zach. It's all about your shot placement and the distance and what gun you're using. I mean, I'm able to use a 308 on Red Deer and have it go down within like 100 yards. Or I guess 100 meters since I'm using a metric. Random Roe Deer and Red Deer. Okay, we got Red Deer. Or is that Fallow Deer? Uh, that's... Yeah, it's Fallow Deer. They're spooked, though. I didn't expect anything to be down by the water right now. We might be able to take one of them still. Oh, I think the roe deer are spooking them. That's a mature two. Zero for 200. If it gives us a shot, we'll take it. There's something there. Is that a... That's definitely a buck, I think. There is an auto-walk button, yes. Oh, we killed a few things, PJ. We got a four-star red deer. We got, I believe, a three-star red deer as well. A two or a one-star roe deer. Can't remember. Uh, we killed a one-star mature boar. We just saw some fallow deer and roe deer, so we're trying to stock up on them a little bit. However, it looks like they actually spooked. They're not there anymore. All right, let's not worry about them. Let's just find out what this... Oh, it's a hunting tower. Okay. Scent play a big part. Not as much as you would think from what I've noticed. I haven't really been winded too many times by the animals. Like, they haven't really caught my scent too often. I've had more times where they've heard me than anything. Like, they, they have insane hearing. Oh, can't cross there. Gotta go over here. Oh, yeah, I should probably take the pole down. We already shot that red deer. There should be discovered now. Yep, there we go. All right, let's uh, fast travel. Maybe we can work on this mission over here. Uh, the best paying animal so far has been moose. They give like a thousand to like fifteen hundred cash per moose, depending on the size. It's pretty insane how much they give. Oh, that's right. I got to deliver the fallow meat at nighttime. Okay, let's uh, do that real quick. I believe it said like between one and four a.m. 
Oh uh, yeah, I can show the whitetail collar. It's actually modeled off a of Primo's collar. Let me do this real quick though. There. Deliver the samples. Grab the next uh, mission to try and unlock this private land. Harvest a calm roe deer and a spooked roe deer. That's easy enough. So yeah, we're trying to do these missions to unlock this private land here. Because the private land is... They have um, better genetics animals from the start. So it's like a way that you can get access to some better genetics um, early on. And it makes sense, you know, like private land is obviously going to have better chances at some good genetics animals because it has less hunting pressure so animals will grow larger. Riptide, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. I have to run Call the Wild on low, medium graphics to get good frame rate. Will I be able to run away the hunter on the lowest settings? Ooh, I don't know, Riptide. That's going to be a tough one. You might have some problems if you're running Call the Wild on low to medium. Because I've noticed I get about half the frames in this that I would on Call of the Wild. Call of the Wild, I get like 130 to 150 on almost max settings. Uh, this game on very high settings, I get anywhere from like 70 to 100 when I'm not streaming. Alright, so let's go find some road deer. We got a couple places that we uh, know where they are. For one of them, we actually need to spook it, it said, so... That's going to be interesting. I'm not really a gamer. There's actually a lot more places you can cross the water in this game. Because just in general, the water isn't as deep. Yeah, that would be wild, Ryan. I hope they had non-typicals at some point. Okay, I want to see something cool. I, I want to see if we can actually watch them walking in. Because they don't start drinking till 9 a.m. It's currently 8.55. I, I want to know if we can actually watch them walking into their zone. And how long it actually takes them. If you don't change the time to like past the start of their time for drinking. Alright, let's see. I did say I was going to show the deer collar. Here it is. That's the doe grunt. I don't have the other stages unlocked though, so I can only do a doe grunt as of now. Because you have to unlock the others. And it's against the rules to repeat, uh, Colton, so I would listen if I were you. And also I'd read the rules. It uh, can be very helpful. What are non-typicals? So non-typicals are deer that either have some type of genetic defect or damage done to their antlers. Some type of injury that has caused their antlers to grow weird. And be kind of like all wonky and twisted and growing tines off in random directions. Drop tines, stickers, all that type of stuff. You think the PS5 will run Way of the Hunter good? I think it'll do pretty decent. The PS5 and the Xbox Series S and X, they're pretty beefy systems, so I think they'll do good. Yeah, the bar at the bottom is like a timer for the caller. You have to call it the correct time or else the animals will spook because you called too early or too late and they'll notice that it's not an actual deer. Like, you actually have to time your calls with this game, which is cool. Let's see what the road deer caller sounds like. <laughs> yeah, that's about what I expected. How many hours of gameplay have I logged so far? Like 76, I believe. It was 74 when I started the stream, so yeah, like 70, 75 actually. Yeah, like 75 hours. What's my least favorite things about Way of the Hunter? Uh, the lack of non-typicals. 
That's probably my least favorite thing is that it doesn't have non-tips yet. I like most of the stuff that's in the game. Where was that? Oh, here's the roe deer. <laughs> they are coming into their uh, to their drink zone. That's so cool. Wow. We need to harvest one of them while they're spooked and one while they're not spooked. Those are all young roe deer though. I'd prefer to take out mature ones if we can find them. This is where they're heading to is this zone. So they'll have to pass us in order to get there. Oh, like how long it takes to get the collar? Um, well, it's not a matter of hours. It's you have to kill 10 um, called in animals to get stage two unlocked. Like, see, the second level calls will be available if you sell 10 called animals. Uh, stage three become available when you sell 30 called animals. So that's how they do it. Oh gosh, the slope is screwing us over. There we go. They're just kind of staring us down. Honestly, let's get our unspooked one done. Uh, Tubby, thank you so much for becoming a member. Dude, really appreciate it. Enjoy the green name and chat, special badge icon, all the awesome emotes, ability to use commands, access to private Discord channels, once you link Discord to YouTube, and access to my scrap content on the channel. Really appreciate it. And 308. Now for the spooked one. Now's the fun part. We gotta race, race, race until we can see them out in the open. We gotta take a spooked road here. So I think that means I gotta try and hit a running shot on it. Because I don't think they stay spooked if they've stopped uh, running from you. They might, but... Ah, uh, they went all the way... Oh, those are red deer and fallow deer. The road deer are probably over here. That's them. Yeah, it's the rose. Those say calm. Yeah, I definitely have to shoot them while they're running, I think. That's unfortunate. But yeah, for this mission, that we will have to spook them off to shoot them. In order to get the spooked one, it's got to be running, I think. That's not ideal for us at all. Oof, that is a lot of blood. And that's what happens when you hit a roe deer with a 308. Where did it go though? Oh, well, where's the blood? There's the blood right there. Okay, right here. Did it turn? I think it did, yeah. Did it just like do a circle and then die? Yeah, because there's blood over here too. It did like a, a loop and then died somewhere around here. Oh, 
I've been trying not to shoot the female animals because it does hurt the population of your uh, of your reserve. Shooting female animals decreases the amount of uh, offspring your uh, herds have. And so I've been avoiding that as much as I can. Okay, where did this road here go? It, it shouldn't be too far from this spot. I mean, the blood trail literally goes in a circle. Oh, there's more blood here. Okay, so it came back this way. There it is, okay. I was gonna say, there's no way that he went too far. This should be a young roe deer. Yeah, 50% genetics though, so we actually made a good decision on taking this one. Yeah, you're right, I could shoot next to it to get it to spook. Nice, Mackenzie, that's awesome. I'm glad that you're uh, liking what you're seeing with the game. It's been fun. It's been a lot of fun to show off. Might need to reset the time. Uh, those road deer spooked. Although we could go find another herd. We've got a herd somewhere over here too. Pretty far away from an outpost though. That's the only problem. Yeah, I think we'll have to reset the time. And then we need to spook it off and take it while it's spooked. Oh, okay, we're actually gonna have to set reset the time twice because I can only do um, 23 hours at a time. So then we'll have to fast forward one more hour. There, now we're good. Definitely DK, definitely. Like every time you take down an animal, it's like, did I judge it correctly? Is this actually one I need to kill off or did we make a bad decision? And I do love that, it's cool. Have you shot the mule deer on the other map? Yes, I've shot uh, quite a few of them actually. We got a couple four stars. Uh, no, it's not visible. There is no way to see what the hunting pressure is like. The only way that you can judge hunting pressure is remembering how much you've hunted there recently. If you hunt in an area quite a bit, you'll start to notice they don't hang around there as often. Oh, we actually did shoot a pig already. We shot a, a wild boar a little bit ago. Oh my gosh, there's a four-star mature fallow. That was the three-star that we saw last stream. He's grown into a four. And also those roe deer have spooked, so this is perfect if we can get one. <laughs> Didn't hit it, I don't think. It's got to be a male as well. Alright, this might be the strategy we have to use. Reset the time. Spook off the fallows so they spook the others. Ugh, this is going to get repetitive, but we're going to have to do it for this mission. Because I have to get a spooked one, and this is the only herd we have close to an outpost. Uh, no, it's free to change time. Hey, Void, how's it going? What about them adding a 4570 or more lever actions? I'd love that. I would love to see some more lever actions. Because as of now, we just have one, but it's done very well. That I'd love to see more. Just like the four from the eight hour? Yeah, exactly. Honestly, we can maybe get this four star to turn into a five star if we keep leaving it. We've already got a four-star fallow, so I'm willing to risk letting it possibly die if it means we have a chance at it growing to a five-star. 
Because it looked pretty big. Looked like it could grow to be massive. I know the background music is from Epidemic Sound. Uh, I just searched up the acoustic category on Epidemic Sound. It's like a paid, um, paid music service. You can listen to it for free, and then if you pay like a monthly membership, you're able to use it in your YouTube videos and streams without getting copyrighted. So it's a pretty cool uh, music service. Absolutely love it. All right, fellow deer. Let's get lined up for these roe deer. Occasionally when the roe deer are spooked, they'll stop for a couple seconds. Doesn't look like they did this time though, that's sad. Maybe this won't be the strategy. How are we going to harvest a spooked roe deer? Seems like it's going to be difficult unless we have a super open area. Huh. Does it have to be like in the spooked state or can it be alerted? I think it has to be running. Yeah, that's a, that's a tough one. What do you guys think? Try it one more time or should we move on and hunt something else? I feel like we should give it one more try and then if it doesn't work, we'll move on to doing something else and maybe we'll find a random roe deer while we're hunting the river again and get it to spook. I like the hunter sense the way it is. And uh, you don't have to use the Hunter Sense if you don't want to. The hardest difficulty doesn't even let you use it. Hunter Sense is difficulty bound, so if you're playing on the hardest difficulty, Hunter Sense is disabled. Maybe, uh, Matthias, that could be, that could work. One more try, okay, yeah, we'll do one more try. Maybe if we can get a shot ready. Oh, description said alarmed. There's alarmed animals in the description, but spooked animal in the task. Okay. Yeah, that's a little bit better then. So like technically we could get the fallow to spook there, right? Get lined up on a road here. The second it goes into the alarmed state, take it down and it should work. That should work. There's currently four levels of difficulty. Yeah, wizardry, I have been. In fact, I already chugged all my water. Still gotta finish my coffee, though. Uh, no, it doesn't cost money to change the time. Why am I spooking them? It's for a mission. I have to take a spooked roe deer. In order to uh, complete one of the tasks that's required to unlock one of the private uh, properties for free. Otherwise, I would have to spend 4500 to get the permit to hunt there. And I'd prefer to just do the missions if I can do that. Instead of having to pay 4500 to unlock it. Yeah, we'll look for the fallow as well. We might be close enough to actually get right up on them with the uh, photo mode so you guys can watch the fallow deer move around a little bit. Oh, roe deer. The roe deer were closer than normal. Oh, gosh.
Yeah, that's not gonna work. Come on, one of them just stopped for two seconds. All right, let's go see if we hit that first shot. Um, it's possible, I guess, but unlikely. They were way closer than normal. And that's uh, the somewhat randomized need zones taking into effect. They were drinking on the other side. Uh, yeah, Gear, it's just a matter of like, we can't really get close enough to them to just alarm them because the fallow deer and the red deer are on either side of the lake. That makes it very difficult to actually get that close to this group of roe deer. If we find a different group, we might be able to do it that way. If I hit this though, then we might not have to worry about that. Wait, there might be one stuck on this. We might have a stuck road here. Maybe. Eh, maybe not. The, like, uh, sound indicator kind of showed as if there was one stuck on this cliffside. Because they do occasionally get stuck. That would have been an easy way to get this mission done. But I don't think we're that lucky, unfortunately. Uh, you can't see the outlines of tracks without Hunter Sense. You can see the imprints, but it's very difficult to find them. Hunter Sense is almost a necessity if you want to actually be able to see the the tracks and stuff like that. Blood, it's easier to see without the Hunter Sense, though. Yeah, Pronghorn would be awesome. I'd love to see that. Yeah, no stuck road here. I think we'll just hunt the river and find some road here over there. We had a road here herd right here. We could uh, try going that way. I'm uh, not really anything, Kai. We got a three star red deer, but that was about it since then. Uh, yes, I, I know that, Gary. I, I already replied to your message a couple times. I, I am well aware. I am well aware what alarmed means. A stuck crow deer? <laughs> uh, that is a very strange species of roe deer. A stuck crow deer? Very interesting. Hey, Maverick, you haven't missed too much, dude. Gosh, we got like 2.5 kilometers to go. You know, let's get the vehicle. That's going to make this process go a little bit quicker. Hey! Whoa, not cool, man. Slamming the door in my face. So rude. How many five stars do I have? Currently three five star animals. We got a white tail, a pheasant, and a elk. The elk was the first one we ended up getting. And then we got the pheasant uh, the next day and then the white tail later that day. You know, 
something else that might work. Maybe we could spook some off with the um, the vehicle, because if you don't, uh, like with the vehicle, you can drive like maybe 150, 200 meters away, and then if you stop and jump out and immediately prone, they won't run away, but they'll still be in that like alarmed state. That might be a, an easy way to get them to go alarmed. And we're bound to run across some uh, herds as we're driving, so. Might be an option if we get the opportunity to do it. I'll kind of be watching the water as we go. Oof. Okay, while driving, the FPS is a little bit more rough because you're constantly loading new parts of the map in. Most wanted trophy, definitely a five star red deer. I'd love to get a five star red deer. They look incredible. They look absolutely amazing. Nice, August. I hope you enjoy the game when it releases. <sighs> Whoa, there's... Oh my gosh, I just realized you can hit C to go first person. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. The gauges even work? Oh my gosh. I didn't realize that there was a first-person camera for the vehicle. I haven't seen many people do that. I don't think I've seen anybody do this. That is so cool. How many hours do I have in the game so far? Currently like 75. Yeah, Johnny, I just now figured that out. I hadn't tried it before. I thought it was locked to third person. I mean, they don't have like a, uh, a key bindings screen that I can just look at the key bindings. And so I had no idea that you could do that. Apparently they will have it on um, release though. Apparently they will have the key bindings uh, feature on release where you can view and change them. Or shortly after release, I'm not sure which one. But yeah, I didn't know you could go first person in the vehicle. Ah, uh, depends on what you consider better, Laser. It's more realistic. But it's also very different, so... It depends on what is the type of hunting game you prefer. Do you like uh, fast-paced action like Call of the Wild, or do you want something realistic and slow-paced like Way of the Hunter? Yeah, they're not here. They wouldn't have spooked from the vehicle either. Um, because in this game, they don't spook immediately when they hear vehicles. They actually do what real deer do and kind of look in that direction and kind of gauge the threat and figure out what is making the noise. And then, like, if you stop the vehicle, a lot of times that's when they will spook. So we definitely didn't spook them. I think they're just not using this zone this time. It did say, uh... Rarely for the use frequency, so. What do I find most challenging about the game? Uh, how easily the animals spook. That's definitely the most difficult aspect. And also, probably the genetic system. Like, knowing what to take out of a herd to maximize the potential of your future herds. That part's very difficult as well. What's my favorite animal on Way of the Hunter? I like the whitetail the most, I think. The whitetail are super realistic in this game. I also like, um... The red deer, obviously. The mule deer look pretty good. The elk are nice. 
I've enjoyed the mouflon too. Do the predators hunt other animals? I'm actually not sure I haven't seen that. Every time that I've found wolves, I haven't seen them close to anything else, so... I don't know if they do. Has anybody found rares? None in the wild. I got one from a mission. But I haven't actually found any just out in the wild. Nice, bandit bros. Welcome back. Are bears aggressive in this game? I haven't been attacked by one personally. I, I don't know if they can go aggressive or not. Ooh. Random red deer. Two star mature. One star adult. They're not roe deer, but got something in front of us at least. Let's do a slow crouch. Yeah, Kenny, I do. I haven't uh, hunted in probably five or six years, but I did it a lot growing up. All right, Mjord. Hey, Ryan. You missed a four-star red deer. That's about the best thing that we've got. One-star mature. Okay, that's a good one to take down. He's moving quick, man. All right, Mythical Hunter. The game will be launching the 16th. I don't know the exact uh, time, but we know the day will be the 16th. Can you call your vehicle or fast travel to it? Sadly, no, you can't. Oh, there's a Big herd. Okay, I didn't realize the herd was that big. Two star mature in the back. Ooh. That's a two star mature as well. I think that guy will take. He's definitely the oldest looking. I kind of know we're here though. Careful. Yes, yeah, same Hayden. I do love the rarity of some of the better stuff in the game. Like even five star animals are hard to find. I've only found three five stars in 75 hours of gameplay. And one of them was a bird and the birds seem to be much easier than the big game. The only five star big game I've had was a elk and a white tail. Nice, we got him. Uh, nice, Blixie. That's awesome. Yeah, I do a lot of fishing. I don't really, um... I don't really do any bass fishing, but I fish for a lot of uh, trout, salmon, uh, some saltwater fishing, like a greenling, rockfish. Photo mode equals a scouting drone? It could be. That's how a lot of people have been viewing it. I've been using it more as a way to watch the animals interact with the, uh, with the landscape, though. Because I feel like this game's got some of the best animal animations I've ever seen, and it's really cool to just watch them. Alright, that's a lung shot. Did he cross the water? He might have. 
No, looks like he followed the water. Did he attempt to climb the hill? It's possible. He could have crossed right there as well. I will definitely be able to see from up here though. We should know shortly where he went. We'll just keep the hunter sense on and see if we can pick up any more blood trail. I think it definitely crossed. Oh, ooh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh no. Ooh. Okay, I really gotta watch where I'm going. I gotta be careful here. Nah, the rockfish are amazing, Mythical Hunter. Copper rockfish tastes great. I absolutely love copper rockfish. One of my favorite fish, actually. And I've had quite a few different types of fish over the years, but copper rockfish are one of my favorites. Pretty amazing. Why don't you go for heart shots? Because it's safer to go for a lung shot. Like a lung shot's a guarantee. You know that you're going to most likely get a lung shot if you aim for it, since the lungs are so large. Um, with the heart, it's low enough on the body that if you are just a little bit off, you might completely miss the lungs and go underneath them. And so I find it's safer to go for a double lung, but it's all personal preference, you know. It's just what I prefer to do because it's a safer shot. There he is! Not. That is a rock. Hmm. Did he die in the water, maybe? Okay, that is deep water. Yeah, trout are pretty good. Uh, yeah, Frelma, I've got a daughter. We had tracked the blood over here. I think the last one was right around this area. Maybe not. Where was the last blood uh, spatter? Alright, let's start the tracking process over again. We had to have overlooked something. Whoa, whoa, hold up. Where's the blood? Um. The blood disappeared. That's, that's gotta be a bug. That's definitely not intentional. Cause that's the mark for where we took the shot. The blood was like right here. Yeah, I think we just had a bug. I will report that to the developers because that's not a good bug to have. That's terrible. Yeah, that blood's completely gone. No wonder I couldn't find the, the trail over here that we had left off on. Because I know we had a, a bit of blood right here. And it looked like the red deer kind of followed the river. We'll just have to kind of follow it. See if maybe we can spot him in the water or along the uh, edge of the bank. Like maybe he even went under there. Could have also like died along this uh, little cliffside. Could have gone up. 
He may have ran onto private property. Nah, he didn't. Hey, he's way too far away from private property. I've already got the pass to the uh, private property that's in this area, so we should be okay. It depends, uh, Freakstyle. It, it really depends on if you enjoy, like, a... A slow-paced, realistic hunting experience, or if you want, a, a game where there's always action. This game is much more slow-paced and realistic than Call of the Wild. And so it's definitely not gonna appeal to everybody that plays Call of the Wild. No, he didn't die on private property. And plus, I've got uh, most of the private property unlocked. The only locked uh, ones right now is this one and clear up here. Like, I've got the Lalele fields unlocked already. I think we just had a bug, like the blood completely disappeared. That wasn't a matter of like private property. Can we move? Okay, there we go. We finally made it. I don't think it's behind me, Scott. We already kind of scoured that area. If anything, it probably ran across the road. And died like somewhere over here. Or it's possible that it went up the hill. Probably should have watched it a little bit closer. Uh, I don't know, Dylan. I think they'll both have very long lifespans. I mean, Call of the Wild's still running strong. After, uh... Like, what, five years of being out? I think Way of the Hunter will go on for at least five years. Probably more if they keep doing updates. Uh, well, I already know what a headshot's gonna do. It's gonna make it so you can't sell the animal or tax it. That's what happens if you headshot. Because they, want, they don't want you to try and headshot in the game because it's not really ethical. So, um... They've made it so you cannot taxidermy an animal or sell it if you headshot it. Same with if you hit it with a vehicle. You can't tax it. You can still sell it, but you get, like, almost no money at all. And so they're really trying to drive people away from headshotting or... Um... Running animals over. I think this guy is a lost cause. I think he's gone. It does not appear that there's any way we can really track this thing down quickly. The blood disappeared completely. It was a vital lung hit, though. If we hadn't lost the blood trail, if it hadn't just disappeared, we'd probably be able to find him. I'm curious, did the animal disappear, too, if the blood's gone? Maybe the animal despawned. I mean, either way, we're not going to find it, so... I suppose maybe one of these days we'll stumble upon it since dead animals do not despawn. They will stay on your map until you claim them. So I guess there's a possibility that maybe later on we could end up finding it. Uh, no! No way! No! There's no... What? No, there's no way. That that can't be him. That That can't be him, right? There's no way. There's this no way. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Why? <laughs> yeah, it's my thoughts exactly, Kenny. My thoughts exactly. Although neck shots are pretty effective in this game since not only does, you know, a spine shot kill pretty quickly, but there's also the arteries in the neck. And so a neck shot's actually viable if you're an accurate shot. Dude, that is just insane. That can't be him, right? It's so far away. It definitely didn't run that far. I think it teleported. Also, guys, just a head up, a heads up. It looks like the chat is like, or not the chat, but it looks like the stream is delayed by about a minute. Um, I think those lag spikes we had earlier caused the stream to be delayed because 
I'm just now seeing everybody's reaction to me spotting the dead uh, red deer. I think the uh, I think YouTube's a bit delayed right now, probably because of all those uh, lagging issues we had earlier with YouTube. There's no way though, right? Like this can't be the same one. I guess we'll find out. We shot a two star mature. And if there's like no um, time loss for the meat. Or meat loss over time, I guess. Then it's definitely him. I uh, know Caleb, uh, early access is for content creators and reviewers. Yeah, it's very delayed right now, Benjamin. I, I don't know what's going on with YouTube today, but if I don't if I don't reply to your guys' messages immediately, just know that I'm not actually ignoring them. Uh, YouTube's delayed by about a minute right now for some reason. Normally, it's only delayed by like five or ten seconds, but for some reason today, it's delayed by like a minute. That's definitely him, I think. 3 Yeah, this is him! This is him. Wow. That's him. What the? <laughs> okay, yeah, some bugginess really definitely happened there. Look at that. Tracking time, 323 hours. There's no way that's a possibility at all. Especially since, like, most ones that take me, like, five minutes to find say that it's, like, 38 minutes of tracking time, roughly. That was the buggiest thing ever. That's the first time I've ran into that bug, so... i uh, definitely gonna clip that and send it to the devs, because that's something that probably needs to get looked at. Yeah, harvest screen is mega bugged. It also says runaway distance was zero meters. That's not accurate. We clearly, this is the one that we shot. Exact same angle, it's the exact same red deer. We ended up cracking the rib and then going into the lung. Yes, it is an in-game timer, guys. I know that, but it's the hours of time. <laughs> Like that, um, that's not possible. I've spent longer time tracking an animal after I killed it, and it was less than an hour of tracking time. So the fact that this is 323 hours, that's bugged. That's super bugged. That's also why it was all the way down at the end of the river. Or not the end of the river, but that's why it was like 600 meters away from where we shot it. Because there's no way it ran that far from that shot. But, um, yeah, this is super bugged. Uh, I will be reporting that to the, to the team. I went ahead and clipped that, so... I'll just send them the video footage of it. And hopefully that'll help them figure out what went wrong there. Because that was very buggy. No wonder he just disappeared and all the blood disappeared. It was almost like the time fast forwarded a bunch. So weird. Ah, uh, yeah, ammo's free. You've been seeing it happen to other people? Yeah, it's definitely a bug then. Definitely a bug and not like a one off thing. That's the first time it's happened to me though, and I've killed. 192 animals, so I mean, if it's only happened once out of 192 animals, I'd say it's not a super common bug, which is good. But uh, it would definitely be annoying if that happened with a 5 star. Probably Bandit Pros, probably. Well, and once again, since I've noticed there's a few more people in here since the last time I mentioned it, YouTube is behind today, so if I don't respond to your message immediately, just know that I'm not ignoring you. YouTube is behind by about a minute right now, so 
There is a delay from when I'll say something to when I'll actually see the replies to it in chat. Uh, yes, there is moose on the other uh, map. In fact, we've been going for a couple hours. Let's jump to the other map. Let's go to good old Nez Perce Valley. The question is, what do we start out with, guys? Do we uh, check on the elk herd that we took that five star from? Because there was a three star in there that was looking kind of nice. Or do we check on the whitetail and mule deer herds? How do you think this game will run on Xbox One? Well, it's not available on Xbox One, Kale, so uh, it won't run at all, actually. It is not available on the Xbox One. Just the Series S and X, and then also the PlayStation 5 and PC. So let's go ahead and select new equipment. I think what we're going to do is get the Scout. I was messing around with the Scout the other day, and oh my gosh, this rifle is so much fun. It is kind of incredible how much fun it is. And then as far as the callers, let's uh, swap over to the elk call, and then we'll put the deer call in slot two, and then the moose call. And there is no non-typicals as of now, Henry, but there will be eventually, or we think there will be eventually. White tail, mule deer, mule deer, white tail, mule deer, white tail, elk, pheasant, moose. I see more white tail and mule deer than anything else, so we'll go check out them because they drink in the same area. Uh, we can get white tail and mule deer along this river and this river. These are the two that I've been hunting the most uh, heavily, and so I've got the herds looking pretty nice there. That's where we took our five star white tail. Maybe if we're lucky, one of the other ones from his herd will be a giant as well. I've been paying so much attention to that herd because it has consistently produced some giants. As of now, I've taken a four star and a five star from that herd. It's been like an absolute gold mine for big deer. Thoughts on the 308? It's really good. 308 is one of my favorites. Um, I'd say just as good BP because it is a very different game like it's not gonna compete with Call of the Wild per se because it's a realistic game and Call of the Wild's an arcade game or I guess arcade style where you can kill a lot of animals super fast this game's more slow paced methodical realistic but I think they'll both do good I think they're equally good for different reasons Want to see how the white tails are doing? Yeah, me too, Bandit Bros. So we're going to check them out. We could definitely have some uh, larger deer. I'm also curious what the offspring of that five star is going to be. I'm curious what replaced him. How much time in game is a minute IRL? Let's see. So it's 936 right now. Let's walk around a little bit and see when it changes. Oh, it just changed to 942. So it skips by like eight minutes at a time, I believe, from what I can tell. It just switched to 942, so let's see how long it takes to switch from uh, 942 to like 950. Oh, it's 943. Okay, so it looks like one minute is about like 20 seconds. 20 or 30 seconds per minute in game. That's not bad. That's pretty good. I'd say that's roughly in line with Call of the Wild as well. Maybe a little bit slower than Call of the Wild's time, to be honest.
Is the lodge too small? No, it's great. And the thing about this game is you're going to not find big trophies as fast as you would in Call of the Wild, so you don't need a giant lodge. That's the big difference is like a lodge that will, like we have right now with like what 50 plaques or 75 or whatever number it is, that's going to take me a very long time to fill because the game is a lot slower and it's hard to get the big trophies. There actually is hunting pressure, but it's different. Instead of like zones deleting from hunting pressure like in Call of the Wild, what happens is deer are more likely to stay away from those areas until you've given that area a bit of a break. Like the more you hunt an area, uh, the more chances the deer will kind of stay away from it because they know there's a lot of uh, hunters going through that area. And you can kind of get them to calm down by just hunting other parts of the map for a little bit. Uh, thankfully, there's such a large... Uh, amount of locations that you can find each species on this map that it doesn't really uh, affect you too much. Like, you can still have plenty of animals to hunt, even if you're uh, hunting a few different areas to kind of spread out the pressure. So it looks like our mule deer have not produced anything giant since the last time we were here. There's a two-star mature. We might try to take him down. Ooh, one-star mature. Okay, that's the one we need to get rid of. That one star mature is going to be a problem if we leave him alive. Don't want to have that limb in the way. Three branches are a pain in this game. Okay, he's right there. The edges are blurred from Hunter Sense Axis. It's essentially like your hunter squinting his eyes so that he can see uh, tracks better and it also gives you spotting information of the animal. Like if I just look at an animal like this, it's not going to tell me anything. I have to go into Hunter Sense in order to see information about the animal. And same with like tracks, it'll highlight tracks when you use Hunter Sense. And it also um, shows, uh, what's it called, the, the location the bullet's going to hit. It'll show you the impact based on your range uh, zeroing in the wind. And also guys, this is the Scout. The Steyr Scout is so cool. You know, this is a very iconic Steyr uh, rifle. Pretty much everybody knows the Scout, and I'm so happy they included it in the game. The Scout is amazing. There's our muleys. I think the Whitetail are over here. Yeah, it's Whitetail. That's our Whitetail deer. But where's the Bucks? I don't see the Bucks. How much money do I have in the game? Currently 8100. I've spent quite a bit unlocking stuff though. One star trophy rating whitetail. It's a young though. Two star mature mule deer. Might have to take him down. One complaint I do have is that it's kind of hard to spot specific animals. Like, you really have to move the binoculars around to get the animal you're actually trying to look at. That's probably my biggest complaint about the spotting. Like, half the time it doesn't even spot the one I'm looking at, it spots one that's next to it. So I would like to see that improved. If they could improve that though, then it would be pretty amazing. I haven't looked at them myself, uh, Daniel, but I know Mel's Gaming, she has looked at it. 
And it seems like the main differences is just the spook range. Ooh, one star adult. That might be one we want to take down. Yeah, that's a one star adult uh, white tail. Let's try the 223 on it. I know it can kill a, a deer with a neck shot, but I don't know about uh, how quickly it'll kill with a lung shot. I'm curious if it'll be at least better than Call of the Wild's 223, as that thing is terrible in Call of the Wild. Ooh, that wind is really hurting us. Ah, I don't think that actually got into a lung. I guess we'll have to see. Eh, still a little bit sore, Joshua, but it is what it is. It's better for the most part. Hey, Adventure, I'm doing good. Here's this guy. Yeah, that was that mature one star. That we took down with the 308. Well, let's see what the blood's like. With the 223, we might just have to go for neck shots. The wind is also just ridiculous today, like... It's really making it hard to do longer range shots with the lower caliber rifles. Oh yeah, that's not good. Okay, so yeah, that's not a good idea then. Yeah, we could try a hard shot. We could. Um, there's, there is a way that you can, uh, gum man, but it's way different than Call of the Wild. In Call of the Wild, it's just, like, shooting a ton of the same animal until something good spawns. In this, it's a matter of, like, pulling out all of the low genetics animals, leaving the good genetics ones, and then waiting, giving them time to grow. And that process takes a long time. It's definitely a longer grind than anything in Call of the Wild. But there is a, a form of grinding, but it's much more realistic, like, it, it's kind of the way you would get better deer on your property in real life, getting rid of the bad genetics deer, uh, leaving the ones that are younger but have potential to be big the next year. But yeah, that 223 was definitely, uh... Definitely not good at that range. I take it we just missed the the lung though. Because the uh the kind of like hit range, the hit radius was pretty wide because of the wind. Can you no scope? No, you have to be aimed down sights. I think at least. Let me let me try. Yeah, you do have to aim down sights to shoot. Yeah, I've I've got a 223 that I've taken out for deer before, Waylon. I think we just had a poor shot there. I think it just didn't hit where we aimed because of the uh, extreme wind at the moment. I just realized you can actually kind of hear the wind gust. I have the volume turned down a bit because of how loud the water and the uh, Jeep is, but I think I actually can hear the wind. I don't think so, Kale. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure they said that they won't do that. Well, they were closer than I thought. Huh. 
That's unfortunate. Uh, if you don't hit it fatally, then it will heal up and continue to live. And if you end up finding that deer again like a few days later and shoot it, it'll still have the hit information from the first shot. Even if you've closed your game or switched reserves or forwarded the time many times. Like, uh, I found I found a few deer that I had previously shot. It's cool. It's so cool. And even in, uh, in Flinter's video that he did today, he had the same situation. Or was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday's video. Where he shot a deer a couple days before, and then he ended up finding it again. There are no ARs in the game at the moment. Definitely a possibility in the future, but... I wouldn't be too uh, surprised if they kept it to bolt-action rifles. <laughs> I know, right, Todd? Crazy, right? Thank you, Shoki. I'm glad that you enjoy the uh, content. Have I tried the iron sights? I have not. It's actually pretty difficult to get close to animals, so I haven't tried any of the close range sights. I haven't tried any of the red dots on rifles or the iron sights because it's very difficult to get within 200, especially difficult to get within 150 of the uh, deer without them spooking. Yeah, M6, you can. You don't have to farm the need zones. Um. I'm doing the drinks times because it is, uh, it's easier to focus a specific species if you do the drink times. However, they're not as tied to a zone as, um, as a lot of species in Call of the Wild. Like, in this game, they're not guaranteed to be at a need zone. They could be at a completely different zone sometimes as well. Like, uh, the herd that we've been hunting up here, this whitetail herd... I've had them drinking right here, and I've also had them drinking down here at this other zone. And I believe that is, um, oh, of course, why didn't I think of that? That's kind of what this is. This is like a group, I believe, that's tied to these zones. It's like there's multiple need zones a herd can be at. Some of them say use usage is often, some of them say usage is rarely. It's pretty cool. It's a, a better take on the need zone system, in my opinion. Any confirmed rares yet? Just from the missions. I haven't found any rares in game. The only rare that I ended up finding was from a mission. Yeah, definitely Mythical Hunter. That's why I'm not too concerned with whether or not they add bows because I can just imagine it being like incredibly difficult to get close enough to even use a bow. Like, I've got trouble getting to 100 meters without them spooking. You pretty much have to prone if you want to get closer than 150. And the prone crawling is super, super slow. Like, it takes forever. You can get a little bit closer by slow crouching, but even that is... Uh, very time consuming to try and stock up like this. But yeah, bows would be a pain. I definitely think the Hunter Classic is probably the best game for bow hunting. The Hunter Classic's bow hunting is awesome. Uh, it depends, uh, and 99. If you like a realistic hunting game, if you prefer realism over like a fast-paced gameplay style like Call of the Wild, Call of the Wild's a bit more of a fast-paced um, arcade style experience. Where you pretty much know where animals are going to be if you know their drink time. But uh, in Way of the Hunter, it's much more slow, slow paced. Animals are more difficult to get close to. And there's a lot more attention to detail with like uh, just the realism aspects of a lot of things. 
especially with the animations of animals. So it depends on if you want a realistic experience. Uh, if you want a realistic slow paced hunting game, this is a great one. Yeah, and it's definitely viable, uh, Top Hat Cat. That's the great thing about Way of the Hunters. You don't have to hunt the drink zones if you don't want to. Uh, the feeding zones, I've had success with those too. There's a lot of fields that mule deer will feed in, and they're a lot of fun to hunt in the fields. And like with this game, you can just roam around randomly and have quite a bit of success. Uh, we don't see anything there. I don't see any more herds down here. In fact, yeah, we'd be seeing them already if they were there. So they're definitely not at that zone. Let's check uh, this area now. The lake was loaded last time. Like a bunch of the ones that were normally drinking on the river were up at the lake. And it made for a really cool, uh, cool hunt. So hopefully, actually I need that marked. Hopefully they'll be down here at the lake. Yeah, you would definitely have to tree stand hunt with bows. That that I can definitely agree with. That's the only way that you could get bows to work in this game is from stands. Because otherwise they spook too easily. Spot and stock would be almost impossible. At least for most people. I'm sure some would find a way to do well with it, but... For a lot of people I could see spot and stock bow hunting in this game being... Uh, terribly difficult. Me too, Deliberate. They look really good too. The Mouflon look insane as well. I, I'm not, Blia. Um, I already explained what's going on. YouTube is behind by about a minute, so I don't see... You guys aren't hearing my responses until a minute after I've read them off. So obviously the chat's gonna be down further by then. I already mentioned that a few times. YouTube is bugging out hard today. That's a product of the, uh, the lag that YouTube was having earlier today. It's just pushed it behind. Yeah, true, the calls would help. They're pretty good, Xander. I like the red deer. They're much more realistic than Call of the Wild's red deer. Call of the Wild's red deer are largely based off of New Zealand stags, and um, half of the racks in the game are kind of based off of the high fence uh, racks. Obviously, they're on rare occasions. They could reach that in the wild, but not very likely. But uh, the ones in Way of the Hunter, they're much more in line with European stags. Alright, we can't quite see them yet. We gotta move up a little bit closer, maybe try to... Go a little bit more to the right like we did yesterday. Do you play other games? I do. Um, I play quite a few other games actually. I play The Hunter Call of the Wild. I play uh, Escape from Tarkov, Seven Days to Die, Generation Zero. Um, what's the others? I can't think of them off the top of my head. There's quite a few games that I play. Nice CJO, that's awesome dude. Congrats on that five star. Oh yeah, Ark Survival Evolved is a game I've played for thousands of hours. One of my favorite games of all time. Probably gonna end up playing uh, or streaming Ark 2 whenever that comes out. Could definitely see that being a fun game to stream. I know, right, Top Hat? Luckily, you can't lose the rating of an animal in this game. The only thing that you can ruin is the hunt rating, which is just like how ethically you hunted the animal. We still have like an hour before they'll stop drinking. So we should be able to see them here. 
Now the question is what side are they on and are they even at the lake? They could be down at the river. All I gotta say is Ark and now Caitlyn's in the chat. If you guys didn't know that's how you uh, get Caitlyn active in the chat, you just mention Ark. And then she shows up. And nothing insane today, uh, Gaming Clips. We ended up getting a four-star red deer, but that's been the biggest thing so far. Definitely not as crazy as yesterday where we got two five-stars. It also looks like there's nothing here. So this is a good example of the uh, kind of like dynamic need zones where these ones were probably rarely used in need zones, so they're not here this time. Because if we go into the encyclopedia and take a look at mule deer, they drink from 9 to 1 p.m. 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. for their drink time. But they're not here. Yesterday there was three herds here. So that's a good example of how the need zones work. They're not always guaranteed to be at them. Most likely they'll be at the river over here. I got early access by being a uh, content creator. They gave early access to content creators and reviewers. Yeah, deliberate they did. Apparently he's actually part of the, uh, I guess like the backstory of Arc 2. You know how like Arc 1, it's got its own storyline along with obviously the open world. Uh, Arc 2, it's going to be similar, but Vin Diesel's going to be one of the, the people that's followed in the story. Uh, yes, the next shots do work in this game. I've tried it a few times with the, uh, with the 223 on Deer and it dropped him. It's pretty great. Or Sims, yeah. You also just say Sims and Caitlyn shows up. Mrs. Uh, Bree Crow in the building. My uh, amazing wife, if you guys are not familiar with her. She just started posting videos on her channel, so... If you guys haven't, you should check her out uh, killing a five-star red deer. Uh, the people at Nine Rocks Games and THQ Nordic were nice enough to give her a key as well, so... She has started posting some uh, clips and videos on it. Wow, nothing at the top of the river. Yeah, they're definitely way farther down than normal. That's wild. That'd be awesome, Xander. I'd love to see a naming system. That's been a very popular request, so I wouldn't be surprised if we eventually get that. And I hope we do. Hey, Jonathan, welcome. Yeah, Aviator, it's crazy. It's very realistic. There's something, I think. No, that's a bush. That was just the limb from that tree kind of shaking around. Yeah, rarely. Okay, so they're probably further down the river, I guess. They're not using these upper zones right now. Probably because of the amount of times I've hunted it. They probably moved down to the lower part of the river. Nice, Atomic. That's awesome. Are there aggressive animals in the game? I actually haven't seen any yet, but there might be. I haven't played enough to really know.
Well, right now the the stream's about a minute behind, so that's why I just now re was replying to you in chat. The stream is like a minute plus re behind because YouTube was bugging out. YouTube's having a rough day, so we're completely behind. Like, by the time it actually shows me replying to something on stream, the chat message is already way off the screen for me. It's unfortunate, but YouTube's bugging out like crazy. But it's just uh, something we got to deal with today. Yeah, Redneck Gamer, the guns are so good in this game. Definitely more in line with what they would be in real life. Uh, one of the mods could drop the PC specs in chat for you, uh, Frelma. I just updated the uh, command recently, so it should show all the updated PC specs. And 25 and nothing. This is the most empty I've seen this area. So we definitely hunted it too heavily and now they've kind of moved away from this area. That's so cool that we're actually getting to see this uh, take place. Like, yesterday when we hunted here, there was at least four or five herds that we would have seen by now. And uh, this time, not the case. I'm guessing they're way further down the river. We still got quite a bit of river to cover, so... We could totally see some herds the further we get down, but they're not in the same places as they were yesterday. Uh, Shooter, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Do you think it will be the same as you have when it's out? Um, yes. Plus, there will be some bug fixes that will have come out. There we go. There's a deer. They plan to do a day one update to fix some of the bugs that content creators and reviewers found in early access. So, it'll be the same game. Plus, there'll also be some extra bug fixes and features. Like, I know an FOV slider is going to be coming. So yes, it'll be the same game, plus they'll be a little bit extra because some stuff will have been fixed. Yeah, Phantom Gamer, I love the rifle sounds. So clean and crisp. They feel very punchy as well. Especially with the 308, whenever I fire that thing, I really feel like I'm firing a 308. Ooh, three star. Wait, did that say adult? Oh my gosh, there's a three star adult. Oh, are you kidding me? This thing could be a giant five star once it grows up. Oh my gosh, that's huge. Now that's a buck that we're going to want to pay attention to and watch grow over the next couple days. He could become a giant. We gotta watch this guy and see what he will become. Cause I bet in a couple days, whenever we check this area, he'll be a giant. This thing much must have some crazy good genetics. For him to already be a three star and he's not even to the mature stage, he is 100% gonna be a five star once he gets to his max potential. That is what we like to see. That is the type of thing that we have been waiting to see. Now, is there any we can actually shoot? I don't want to shoot the three star. We got to remember this. Um, let's see. Let's drop a marker. And one of the cool things is markers will stay even if I close the game. So we'll just leave this mark on him. And we'll be able to tell exactly where we had spotted him. He could also end up being at this lake next time. But yeah, we have found a giant. Now that we know that he's there, let's see if there's any... 
I mean, honestly, if we don't kill it, or if we don't kill anything from his herd and don't spook them, I imagine he'll stay in this zone until he's ready to be shot. Let's go somewhere else. Because if we let him grow, he could become a massive five star, maybe even a max scoring one. Uh, it just means they have good genes, uh, Clash. It's not like a percentage thing. Like, the percentage of the, like, a uh, DNA symbol, that is how good the genetics are, not how far it is in its life cycle. Um, because I have killed a young mule deer that was at 99%. So it's definitely just how good the genetics are. Okay, right, let's, let's try something. I don't think this will... I don't think this will progress it, but I want to see just how quickly they do age. Uh, we did this with the whitetail. We hunted around for a little bit, and then when we reset the time, it had grown. So, let's see if maybe it will have grown. Yeah, we could try to get close enough to photo mode. Um, if he hasn't grown this time around, we'll definitely photo mode. We will definitely uh, photo mode and see. Uh, the screen isn't blurry, Frank. That's the hunter sense. That's part of the game. It's uh, it's a mode that allows you to see the details of the animals that you're spotting, and also makes it so the tracks will be highlighted. You can think of it as like uh, squinting to kind of reduce the amount of glare from sun, and also to to see a little bit better. It's like in real life, you know, if you're having trouble seeing something, you kind of squint your eyes to. Make it a little bit clearer. Uh, we already hunted the other reserve, Constantine. We started on that one. And also, for anybody just joining, my, um... My stream is about a minute delayed at the moment. YouTube is, uh, having some major issues, so the stream is about a minute delayed. Random whitetail spooking up there? Interesting. Okay. Uh, it depends, Tankin. Um, I have to play on a different account because I had already pre-ordered the game on my main account, so it wouldn't let me redeem the key. So I have it on my second Steam account. Uh, the developer said I should be able to move my save file over, but if that doesn't work, then I will have to start fresh. Yeah, kind of, Redneck Gamer. Uh, Reginald, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Thinking of getting this game, but never done hunting games. Is it okay for a beginner of shooter games like this? Thanks. Enjoy watching your videos. Uh, first of all, thank you for the super chat, and I'm glad that you enjoy the content. Um, when it comes to, like, a, I, I guess it's like a first hunting game, I, I don't know if it's, it depends, like, if you want something that's going to simulate real hunting, like, at the closest possible, this game is amazing. However, if you want something that's a little bit easier to get into, the Hunter Call of the Wild is a pretty good option. Oh, Grey Wolves. Got wolves here. Love watching your streams. Can't wait for it to come out. Well, thank you, dude. Really appreciate it. I haven't gotten any five-star trophies today. Uh, we ended up getting two five-stars yesterday. It was a white-tailed deer and then also a uh, pheasant. We just found that uh, three-star adult, though. So there's a, a pretty good chance that it could end up being a five star once it gets to the mature stage. I'm not gonna do the deer collar gear because I don't have the stages unlocked that will attract bucks. Currently the deer collar, I can only call in does. I need to unlock a different stage of it in order to be able to attract um, the bucks as well. Like currently it's only does that I can attract uh, with it. 
Four star mature. That's probably him. It looks like they're in a different area this time. Four star mature. That's got to be him. That's got to be our dude. There's a three star mature as well. Like, man, we've got some monster bucks in these herds. This is what pulling out the bad genetics bucks can do. If you're pulling out the bad genetics early on, we're now finally seeing the results of it after 70 hours of gameplay with roughly 50 of those 70 hours being on this reserve. We're finally seeing the results of it. We're seeing a lot more three and four star bucks along with that one five star we got yesterday. Starting to see some giants. From my experience though, you can't just immediately change the time and have it progress their stage. From what I've seen at least, it only progresses them if you've been hunting around for quite a while in between time resets. Gosh, that guy's huge. I cannot wait to see what he grows to. Also, guys, it's looking like the stream is even more behind now. It's starting to look like I might be like two minutes behind. YouTube might have like a two minute delay. I still haven't seen anybody mention the uh, the four star whitetail. Got a feeling YouTube's having some major issues today. But I mean, anyway, we got a couple good bucks here. A four and a three star mature. I say we let both of these live and grow. That's cool though. That's cool that he's a four star mature now. At least I'm positive it's him. We could go down the river more and check though. See if maybe that's a different herd. We will let them spook off. I won't worry about that too much. What reserve do I like more at this point? Definitely Nez Perce Valley. Uh, Brax, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. They posted time of release tomorrow, 7 a.m. CST. That'd be central time, yeah? And what do you mean by tomorrow? Tomorrow's the 15th. Wouldn't it be the, the next day? Unless they changed it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think we're delayed. Okay, so, as the time of me saying this, G-Dog is the last person to type in chat saying just killed two back-to-back -back diamond moose on Medved. So, let's see how long before that shows on stream and then we can really see what the delay is like. Because, uh, from what I can tell, the delay seems pretty bad. YouTube is having some major, uh, stream delay issues. Seems like a one minute delay. It might be, Redneck Gamer. Oh yeah, it's the next day, uh, Brax, but thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Oh, that's unfortunate, land man. Seems like a one minute delay. I oh, already, already read that. It's Sunday, so maybe the system is stressed. Probably a burger. That would be my guess as well. Oh yeah, there's definitely a big delay then. Yeah, that's over, that's over a minute of delay right now. Um, once we check on this buck, we'll probably end the stream because of how delayed things are at the moment.
Because it's hard for me to, like, uh, give good interaction with the chat if it's delayed by a minute. It's like one of the big parts of streaming for me is I like being able to interact with you guys in chat while we're uh, hunting and can't really do that if it's delayed by over a minute. Um, let me know if refreshing the stream fixes it, guys. No delay for you, Trent? Okay. Maybe you guys just need to refresh the stream. Try refreshing, it might help. It's roughly 28 hours? Okay. 28 hours on the countdown. Okay. That's not too bad then. Try to get the buck to five star? Yeah, that's what we're gonna try and do. I mean, I think the graphics look amazing. Uh, who, who am I? Please tell me. I think the graphics look good. It's not gonna look as good on stream because grass in general makes streams look pixelated. I'm also not running on the max settings. Ooh, the herd's not here. You know what that means? That herd back there is the herd that we were looking for. Which means our buck did move on to a four star. That's awesome. So he's a four star buck now. Can we get him to go five star? Because we just spent a decent amount of time walking around the river there. Maybe if we uh, refresh. Oh. Maybe if we refresh it again, it will uh, go up to a five star. Or at least a bigger four star, because they there's multiple stages of each from what I've seen. Like there's multiple racks. So it's hard to say like whether or not it'll just become a bigger four star or maybe a five star or possibly die. I mean, I don't think it'll die because it was a three star as an adult. This guy's probably just barely into the mature stage. All right, guys, uh, tell me in chat when you hear me say this, uh, now. And we'll see how long it takes. Because, uh, if some of you guys refreshed, you might be able to hear it, like, almost immediately if it was, like, a matter of just needing to refresh. But right now, we don't know. Don't know if it's, uh, just a YouTube problem or if, or if, uh, if a refreshing was all that was needed. Yeah, hopefully he does, Siv. Hopefully he does get to a five star. I think we got a chance of it happening. I think he's got a chance of becoming one. Yeah, there's definitely still delay. I'm just now seeing you guys say now in chat. Yeah, still like a minute delay. Still like a minute delay. That's unfortunate. Oh, well, it is what it is. We'll just have to deal with the one minute delay. Just know I'm not ignoring you guys, I promise. Let's uh, see if we've got a five star buck now. This is his herd. They moved to this side. Another example of like the... Uh, the, the way the need zones work in this game, they've moved clear over to uh, this side now. Unless it's a different herd, which is possible. I don't think any of these deer are the same deer, actually. This might be a different herd. Unless we just haven't seen the ones that we were spotting before.
Yeah, these are, uh, I think these are different whitetail. The herd doesn't look as big. This is a smaller herd of whitetail. The where's our big herd with all of the nice deer. They might be at that lower one again. Yeah, it looks like uh, that herd might be at the lower zone again. It's so cool, though, that they can, like, swap zones. I love that. I love that they're not bound to one spot, like... We saw them down the river, then we saw them over here, and now they're probably down the river again. Because this is definitely a different herd. It's much smaller. Uh, there's none of the same bucks. All of these are one stars. That's so cool. Oh, wait. They actually might be over there. Hold on. I might have spoke too soon. They might be on the other side. Three star mature. Okay, that's that three star mature. Where's our four star dude? And has he grown? That might be him. Well, that's definitely him. That's a giant. That's our giant buck right there. I can't spot him as of now. We got to get a little closer. Four star mature still. Okay, so he has not grown. Okay, that's good to know that you can't just fast forward the time whenever you want to progress them in uh, age. I think it is based off of the game time as well. Like, not just changing the time. I think it's definitely based off of the play time. Like, the amount of time you've been walking around the map since your last uh, time reset or since the last time they aged. That's nice. It's good that you can't just exploit that. I love that you can't exploit that. That's good. Very good for balance. Because it would suck if you could just fast forward the time five times and it's a five star, you know? Glad that that's not possible to be abused. Well, what it is, Paul, is, um... My chat is always on time. Like, uh, the chat will always be instantaneous. Like, whenever you guys send a message, I can see it. However, YouTube is delayed in sending the video footage to you guys. So, there's like a one minute delay from when I say something to when it actually gets aired on stream. So, that's what we're running into. That's the issue that's happening. Yeah, I was open for a five star as well. But it's so cool to see that you can't just fast forward the time immediately to make them become larger. But yeah, we'll go to photo mode so you guys can look at the deer. Since you guys were saying you want to see them. We can uh, watch the whitetail graze a little bit. Because the animations are pretty insane for the whitetail. We might be able to get closer so we can even get a more close-up look as well. No, we're not going to shoot him. And no, I don't think he'll die as a four star. He was a three star as an adult. He just barely made it to mature between the last two time resets. So I can almost guarantee that guy will reach five star if we just give him some time to grow. I think it's almost a guarantee that he will grow. Hunt elk, please. Uh, we don't really have enough time to hunt elk, unfortunately. We've already been streaming for quite a while, and I'm starting to get kind of hungry. So I'd like to go eat some food. But uh, welcome to everybody that subscribed during the stream. I just realized we got like 200 subs this stream, so welcome to everybody that's new to the channel. I appreciate you guys being here. This has been quite a fun stream. We've uh, learned a lot of stuff about... Kind of like the genetics and the aging of animals. Alright, let's go ahead and see if we can get close enough for you guys to watch them now. A little bit closer, but not as close as I'd like to get. 
Like, I'd like to be able to get right up on them so you guys can watch them super close. Look at all of the deer. Isn't this just like complete opposites of what it was like the last run? The last run we went through here, there was no deer at the lake. They were all f drinking at the lower parts of the river. Now they're all up here. I love that. Exactly, uh, barbecue. Exactly. That's what we're trying to do. Are you going to shoot him before the stream ends? Probably not. I think we will, uh, watch him. I might even save it for a video. I might save it for a video. That sounds like an awesome video idea, actually. Checking on the giant buck that we watched grow. And then I can start the video with the footage from the stream where we're watching him grow from a three to a four. And then show what he ends up being in the video. I think that would be pretty cool. I think that'd be an awesome video concept. Watching a buck grow from a three star to a five star. Yeah, me too, Caden. I wish that they would have uh, thought to do that in Call of the Wild as well. Would have been cool for sure. Wow, we're within 100 meters of them. Not too often I'm able to get that close. I'm actually not sure, Frank. I don't know if the bushes really give you much cover, and I, I don't know if they can spook from the noise either. Yes, Wizardry, I actually finished all of my water as well. Drink the whole glass this stream. Are we close enough to see them closely now? Oh. Oh okay, yeah, we're close enough to watch them. And this is kind of what I was talking about with how they react to vehicles. Whenever you drive by them, this is what they do. They just stare you down in the direction that the vehicle is. And then uh, if you keep on driving by them, they'll go back to their business like this. We're finally close enough to actually get some uh, detailed footage of these whitetail, though. I'd still love to get closer, but I think they'll spook before I can do that. That's pretty cool, though. Gosh, I love this so much. I'm so happy that they added a photo mode. It's so cool to watch the animals. And just look at how realistically they move around and react with the environment, how re realistically they eat. So cool. Definitely my favorite feature of the game besides obviously the genetic system Like uh, besides the genetic system and stuff like that. This is one of my favorite features So cool so cool And honestly since there's some people that are concerned about the like I guess the OP-ness of the uh, photo mode being able to like go up high and scout What I've been saying for a long time is if they just made it so you couldn't go as high it wouldn't be a problem. Like, people wouldn't complain about it if you couldn't go this high. I think being able to go that high is the reason some people think it's OP to be able to go into photo mode. But if they limited, limited you to, like, this height, there wouldn't really be as much of an issue with it. Because at this point, you can't really use it to scout. You're just using it to look at the deer that are close. Because, like, all of these, I can see from where I am. And so at that point, it doesn't give you any advantage. It just gives you some cool views of them. And me, personally, I do this for the close-up views of the animals, because it's really awesome to watch them. Sadly, no, David, but I did see the wild boar flip their tail up when they uh, fled away, which was really cool. I'm hoping that eventually they'll add that with the whitetail and mule deer. They seem very adamant on uh, adjusting things based on what the community wants, so... Wouldn't be surprised if eventually they will do that.
Where's our big uh, four star? That's it right there. That's our giant four star buck. Let's see if any of the mule deer are good. Two star mature. Let's take the one star mature whitetail though. Or one star adult. Zero to 100. Um, should we test a spine shot? I've seen a lot of you asking if spine shots are good, and I didn't really get to show it off too well on stream. I, I did it after stream, but I didn't show it off super well on stream. So we might take out the 223 and try it. I'm not going to be able to get close enough, Xander, sadly, because uh, if I move close enough to where I can see the, the four star with the photo mode, it will have spooked off everything that's close to us, which will spook the four star as well. Ooh, that did not work as well as I thought it would. Yeah, I don't think 223 spine shots. Wait, it is going down. Hold on. Hold on. It is going down. I think we missed the spine and hit the lungs. I think we actually missed the spine. I might have been too low. It might have actually been slightly too low there. Very interesting. Yeah, I missed the spine and hit the uh, lung. I must have been just barely too low. But uh, the 223 actually got it pretty good. Not gonna lie, the 223 might just be a viable deer caliber. Provided you're at like, uh, you know, 100, 150, maybe even 200. Oh, they are, Siv? They're actually working on being able to tag Whitetail? Oh, flagging, you mean. Oh, you mean the tails. Gotcha. That's good, then. That's really good to know. That That's awesome. I'm glad that they tell us this stuff, too. Like, I'm so happy that Nine Rocks is letting us know the type of stuff they're working on. That's so nice. I mean, yeah, even if the zeroing is for 200, it still would have hit wherever the dot is. Uh, the, the thing about the zeroing in this game, guys, is if I'm zeroed for 200 and I'm like 100 away, as long as I use that red dot that shows up, it's going to hit where the red dot is. Like, for example, right here, it's going to hit below. So as long as I use that dot, that's where it's going to hit regardless, is within that dot. So uh, you don't actually use the crosshair. You use that dot. I mean, that's personal preference, uh, Sista. I personally think this game is miles better than Call of the Wild when it comes to realism. I feel like Call of the Wild and Way of the Hunter have very different purposes in the hunting genre. Way of the Hunter is not trying to be the next Call of the Wild. It's trying to be a the most realistic hunting game out. Call of the Wild is there for the more fast-paced, arcade-style hunting experience. And both of them are very fun games. This game isn't the same type of experience of Call of the Wild. It's a much more realistic experience, so... Depending on whether you prefer realism or... A faster, more, I guess, easy gameplay style, then that's gonna decide what game you prefer. I personally am much more interested in realism than I am... Easy animals, you know? But like I said, I love both games still. I play both of them still. And I probably will always play both of them. Because they're both very enjoyable. There's more blood. Where is the next blood? Yeah. 
It's going this way. Now this is where it gets difficult. Where's the next blood? Mule deer went this way, so maybe this way? Is this it? It is. There we go, back on the trail and there's our buck. There's our whitetail. Not gonna lie, 223 did good. The 223 did really good. I mean, I feel if the game looks boring to you, sister, that's a you problem. You probably just don't have the patience for a game like this. Oh yeah, we definitely aimed low. That hit way low, so I, I just needed to judge the position of the spine a little better. Uh, yeah, Aviator, I do. I've still been grinding for the next Great One Red Deer. I've been grinding for the Great One Red Deer uh, off stream and then streaming Way of the Hunter. Honestly, that's not bad with like a single lung and barely getting into the other lung from a 223. It actually did pretty solid. I'm happy the 223 isn't as useless as Call of the Wild's 223. Oh yeah, definitely Xander. I cannot wait for the FOV slider. That's going to be a game changer. Yeah, it's not a bad buck. That's like a, a decent uh, one star. One of the better looking one stars, I'd say. And that's like the big difference between the one star mature and the one star youngs. The young one stars are like two by twos, three by threes. That guy was a nice little like four by four or five by five. I actually don't remember. I think it was a five by five, but a very small frame. And like, uh, that's a, one of the big differences between a one star young and a one star mature. Uh, but anyway, guys. I think we're gonna go ahead and end the stream there. Um, I'm probably going to make a video chasing down that four star buck and hoping, well, we'll watch him grow from a four to a five and I'll make, I'll turn that into a video most likely. Showing all of the transitions between his three star stage to his four star and then his five star. I think that'll be an awesome video. So I'm definitely gonna do that. But anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. We're gonna go ahead and end it. I appreciate you all being here. Um, I'm gonna talk a little bit longer past the end of the outro here since there's a one minute delay um, So you guys will probably hear a little bit of this after the outro But uh, gotta make sure it doesn't cut me off like it did last time that there was a delay uh, I at least want you guys to hear that we're ending the stream Because <laughs> last time that it had a delay like this um, I ended the stream I said okay we're gonna end the stream and it didn't even go through it ended before it got to that point and so it like cut it off and everybody was like oh my gosh where'd the stream go what happened definitely Bruno definitely this is uh exactly what classic fans have been looking for but yeah I will see you all in uh, tomorrow's stream guys if it uh, cuts this off then that's unfortunate but uh well, yeah. Peace.